Going medieval, this game is about to enter early access. I actually managed to nab a key because I've been talking to the developers for a little while. Um, and I was fortunate enough to get in the ambassador program, or whatever it's called, early. Uh, it's a lot like a 3D medieval RimWorld, which is what I'm going to kind of keep coming back to because if you know my channel, you're probably most familiar with RimWorld. I don't really mean to put it into comparison with that. We're going to start a new game today, and I'd like to see if I can just get into it. Uh, the major focus of this game is kind of more on wave survival and combat as I take it, but um, I just wanted to see if I could get into it for like two or three hours. So we're just going to be going through and creating a new game. Um, so sit back, relax. Uh, grab a brew or whatever have you. Um, I was thinking of doing a lot of crazy challenges with this, like you could do a single survivor. We're just going to try to play the most normal experience. So if you're looking for something like challenge E related, um, you're not really going to find it here. I'm just going to kind of be learning the game. It's a lot like RimWorld. I played a little bit before. There's a few new starts and you're going to... Yeah, some of you guys will probably be just resisting the urge to call this a reskinned RimWorld in some ways. I don't really want to say that because I feel like that's not as loving, but I'm, I'm already seeing some randomized world settings. So, um, again, it's still pretty early in early access because it's not even out available to the public yet. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have enough information on it. Um, I'm just an idiot, but let's see. Settlement name, Peg... What, what should we name it? Again, we're streaming this, so uh, we're going to get in and out... Uh, I'll be answering questions as we stream. Um, I, what, what should we name our colony? Something patriotic. And I'm also just going to see if I can change some of this heraldry a little bit. Oh, uh, wait, wait, we just had a cat there. We had to... All right. Yeah, I'll take a cat with some sort of chest hair that appears to be. All right. Um, yield veal. Frogville. Ping, ping non. Fl I le I'm going to go with Florida because I just kind of made the announcement that I'm... At least in the short term, moving to Florida. Um, Florida. Yeah, Florida. <laughs> this is going to lead to just a symphony of jokes. Um, you've got different places that you could start on. Um, I'm just going to go for the valley start. Um, I don't know if there's any kind of like pain associated with the mountain. I imagine I could make a bigger mine, but I've just barely started learning to farm. It's a lot like RimWorld, you'll notice as we go through. Okay. Um... Gonilda Paddle, Diana Dodd, and Bay Healed Cross. I've uh, got three women, so we might need some men to repopulate the world, but we're going to go through. Um, I don't really know if you can have, I doubt you can have babies. That just that makes a lot more things problematic. I'm just going to kind of go through a lot of these because I didn't really get a chance to. You could get skills over at level 21. I still don't really know a lot of the... Uh, really deep mechanics, but I'm imagining that you can get your skills way, way further because this 21 is only here. Um, appears to be a lot like in RimWorld where you have the passions, you know, and so much of the UI is just like a RimWorld reskinning in many ways. Um, I don't really say that in a mean way, but in many ways I wish it would be even more like RimWorld. I'm just going to randomize a bit. We've got Brawny, Heat Resistant, and Fair. It was the fairest of all. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of flavor text quite like that. I'm imagining, though, that I'm probably going to need more passions to get them good. This guy's a marksman at level 17. We're going to take him. Um, double passion with that and carpentry, botany. We've also got a botanist. The one thing that would be nice would be if you had a, like, kind of a uh, macro picture of all the skills on your team, but so be it. Um, since there's kind of a focus on combat here, I like these two marksman double passions and the one melee double passion, whatever their skills are right now. So I'm going to take these. Um, hedonist, I just want to look at traits a little bit too. Contemplative, what does this give her? Mood target minus 20 and mood change speed plus 5%. Okay, that's not very good. But we're going to live with it. The one thing I've noticed is that there's no mental breaks in this game. Um, if somebody... If somebody's mood drops enough, they will just leave your colony. I didn't have it in mind. I didn't have any trouble with that. Is it a dating sim? It's not really... Um, yeah, there's a little bit of a Sims vibe to it, but I suppose you get that with anything uh, of a colony creation sort of type of game. All right, so tutorial tips. We're going to keep the tutorial tips. I, I learned enough to get by to create a farm when I first did this. By no means do I know everything, but I know the basics of research and so on and so forth. Um... I hope he makes it a dating sim. It's kind of, yeah, it's, you know, RimWorld just kind of turns into this relationship simulation too. I'm going to kind of avoid all the flavor text. I will read through some of the tutorials as I don't know them as I go. Uh, welcome to Going Medieval. Please be reminded the game is under heavy development. 
Consult the almanac for help in tutorials. So, um, now these constructions are very beautiful. I don't want to give you the impression that we'll be making these yet because our first structures will just kind of be like a box. Like it, there won't be really anything to show for this. I won't have this kind of grand architecture. No, by no means. Um, that's stupid. We, we won't have that for a while. We'll aim at that. Yeah, maybe after a couple of streams. But um, camera, we'll just skip through this. Camera controls. I don't want to go through too much through this. I'll let you guys just kind of take account of the UI as we go through. It's a lot like RimWorld. You have your, you know, order designations, and you have mostly production. There's a lot for construction and base building. So again, I think that the emphasis here is on construction and base building. But um, you know, I'm just gonna kind of let the game speak for itself. Um, you have a kind of a grid around you. Uh, it is beautiful. Like, it is really nice to look at. For a 3D game based on a grid, I think that this is a really appropriate, nice graphical style. Um, and Prime Ribs, thank you for the two months, my friend. All right, so we're just going to kind of let them get to work. I'm going to give them some orders, what I think is it H to chop trees. So we're going to need a lot of trees. I'm going to chop down a bunch of these right now. I'm still kind of getting used to all of the different controls, but I've gotten a little bit faster with it after the first couple days uh, and we're actually going to build a wood building around our stockpile right here so we've got some basic weapons that we spawned with um, I'm just gonna go back to each of my colonists and sorry this is mood where is their skill where are their skills located okay so this one is Diana is good as a marksman she, but she has level zero marksman so we're going to give her the short bow because I don't think that there's any type of leveling requirement I don't know to what extent the game has been balanced yet, but there are definitely some things that are not balanced. <laughs> um, can I... Okay, I can't do shift orders as far as I can see right now. Dwight, you are the one who's good with range combat, and we're going to give you the longbow. Now, the longbow appears to be the best of them, um, and I'll have Bay... What is your name? Bayhild? You could equip the buckler. All right, so just doing some basic rim worldy types of things. Um... But am I am I going to have more colonists? You can get more colonists. So a lot of the things that happen in RimWorld in this game will happen to us. You know, we're going to get other people joining. We're going to create a stockpile zone, much as we would in RimWorld. And I just kind of want you guys to think of this as RimWorld. We're going to give you this... What is this? The fine linen gambeson. Gambeson? Is healing stockpile kit? Yeah, you get wounded. Um, the one thing is that you actually have an object that you need to create for research. They write books, and then they use those for research in this game. And Jay Weaves, thanks for the sub, my friend. God bless. God bless. Oh, what is this? Forbid all... Oh, yeah, we gotta, uh, allow everything. That's ig ignorant of me. Um, okay, that is an order. That is an order. What is the hotkey for that? So that's period. Okay, so we're just gonna do that really quick. And I think that they automatically allow everything there. You know, you don't have all those little controls like you do in RimWorld, but I'm imagining I just haven't seen some of it yet. Um, we're going to put down a wood floor. Things do deteriorate in this game, and I'm going to give them a slightly larger stockpile. We're also going to keep our, um, our base somewhat centrally located. Again, we can't construct over here, it would appear. Um, haven't really seen anything that allows you to make a larger map, but I've been fine with this. Now, you could really get into this game in terms of, like, the architecture and everything like that, but we're just going to kind of create a squarish base because I don't know from which side they'll attack us. Um, I'm not really going to build an exterior wall. Oh, yeah, we have, um, don't let our meat, lo do we, did we bring meatloaf? I don't really, I haven't examined what we start with. We start with some cabbages. They do have enough meals to get started and they aren't really in any urgent danger but there are like berry bushes currants and things like that like here's some currants um let's see cutting plants harvest is b again a little bit i wish that some of these things and perhaps this is selfish of me but i wish that they would just be remapped to the rim world controls um i but that's just because i play a lot of rim world <laughs> so i apologize for that um let me see hmm are there raids? So it takes a little while for the raids to come. Where is the map? There is a map somewhere out here. Region. So as you can see, it's a lot like RimWorld. You don't have like an entire planet, but we do have neighbors. We have friendly settlements and enemy settlements, and we're going to be getting raided probably in a couple of days. Like before when I played, um, some farmer wanted to join my colony. 
I needed a farmer, so I accepted him. Now I'm thinking that this will be our stockpile room. We won't live in here. We're going to start this in a very rimworldy way. Um, I'm probably going to make a lot of mistakes in building, but let's just go for something kind of symmetrical here. I, I don't want to get my ass kicked. Or I don't want to commit too much to any one particular thing, but having a stockpile centrally located with a lot of entrances to it is generally speaking a really good thing, so we're just going to leave that as is. Um, I'm going to add in some double doors only because I noticed when I was playing that when they all enter a doorway together, more or less, um, it does slow them down. So there is some like deep mechanics going on with movement, you know, if you would call that deep mechanics. Um, I'm trying to think if this would be worthwhile to make it two floors. Yeah, you know what? We're going to make this place two floors. I did notice some weird stair behavior before. But we'll see if that continues up till now. Um, we're going to build this. Okay, good. It is not happening. Oh, yeah, what is this? I don't know why this is happening. Yeah, so for some reason, this happened to me when I was playing before, where whenever I tried to construct over here, um, randomly, just like some spots, just for some reason, can't get a roof. We're going to ignore that. Um... Because I don't know what to do, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. That would be... If anyone can elucidate what's going on there, that would be very, m most appreciated. Will there be organ harvesting in the game? Unfortunately, I don't know. Um, as far as planned features go, I'm going to show you a little bit of scrolling between Z levels right here, because this is, I think, important for the game. So you can scroll down into the world, or up out of the world. It's pretty simple. You just use control, and then you scroll. There's a couple different ways to control it, but... Um, See here, I could see without the treetops, but we're also, it's kind of like Dwarf Fortress where we're looking into the world. I think it's a really good control system because I think this could have easily been messed up, but I think it's pretty light. Um, and it's very easy to just move my pinky over to the control button. No roof support needed. I was thinking that, you know, let's try adding a pillar into the middle because maybe that's what it is. Maybe just RimWorld has like a ridiculous seven tiles that you could move over to get roof support. Maybe... I'm doing that wrong here. Let's uh, let's add some wooden walls onto the inside. We'll just add these kind of random wooden walls. We'll put one like there, 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 and there. That's a fine idea. Maybe because this is far away from the... Um, oh, maybe this will be the solution to our problems. Oh, great. Well, then I stand corrected. And it kind of makes sense because we're constructing everything from wood and we need more supports. It's not an industrial game like RimWorld. I need to research the support beams. Yeah. So, there are support beams. I don't have them yet. Um, but we don't have a research table yet, and I just kind of want to get something up quickly. We could, you know, get this up without occupying those squares. Um, but yeah, let's get a big, strong central building, and then we'll start building a wall out from there. We're not really in any immediate danger, so I'm not too worried. Um, and the spike traps are pretty strong right now. Um, we're going to speed up time and just kind of let them finish this off. I also do want to get beds. I haven't seen what happens when they don't have beds. So, you know what? Screw them. Let's just try letting them sleep without beds tonight. I saw what happened. These guys don't seem to get into bad moods, you know, too, too quickly. So, because <laughs> I'm going to show the mood bar. Now, if their mood does stay low for too long, I don't know what it is about these certain lines that cause them to... Joyful mood target 99%. Reaches zero, the settle will leave. I haven't seen any of them, like, you know, go on mood breaks or anything like that. So as far as I know, that doesn't exist in this game. Um, deprived of religious activities. Of course, there's going to be all kinds of stuff like RimWorld, you know, that infamous eight without table. Um, but we're going to kind of learn that as we go. Hey, Gaunt Ghost, thanks for the sub, my friend. Or the gift sub. Thank you very much. Um... I don't know about the 8 without table debuff. So far, I haven't encountered it, but I just haven't really looked very closely. <laughs> All right, let's go add in a few more um, a few more floors. Okay, let's see if we can... Can we make this happen? Yes! Okay, so it did happen because now they're closely enough supported. Okay, so it is... It does appear to be... I think it's... To the best of my counting, it's three tiles. Um, you can go through. We're going to let them sleep without beds tonight because screw them. I'd like to see how upset they can get. Dwight Currington construction is now level two. Oh. Hing a ding a durgan. Hing a ding a durgan. Oh, what is this sound that hath graced my ears? The knifing complex. Thank you for the sub, my friend. 
Eight without table minus... Yeah, they're all going to abandon the colony because they don't get a table. Or that brawler thing. There's all of these somewhat inconsistent uh, mood debuffs that kind of make RimWorld a meme. Honestly, I really am enjoying this game a lot. Um, I think that it kind of fits the bill of accessibility, too, and I hope that it brings more players into the uh, colony management genre because I love the colony management genre. Uh, genre. <laughs> genre. Genre. Uh, as you can also see, there's wildlife. Isn't that wild? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we're going to designate this one for hunting. Um, so, they do sleep on the floor. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, ha 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 All right, we're just going to let them sleep on the floor tonight. As you can see, these people don't get very upset. A little tired. Dwight. Dwight Schrute. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's kind of look through a couple more of the tabs. Um, they've got jobs. It's practically identical to RimWorld in this way, so it doesn't really need a lot of um, a lot of introduction here. I imagine there might be stuff that they add only because I mean, look, it's, that's that's practically RimWorld. Um, but I think that's a good thing. You know, I've played games that were close to RimWorld but not really like it and in many ways felt like that they were using its formula while not innovating. I feel like this is doing a lot of things right, and I don't, I don't want to sound like some kind of shrewd reviewer. I know I find that very unsexy. Um, I am very sexy, on the other hand. Um, no, I am, I am just nor I'm a normal person. Um, I don't know. It's fun. It's nice to look at, and I, I didn't really even play that much. So I'm looking forward to creating a big settlement. Let's give them a second, and let's just observe some of their mood debuffs. Like, in religious slept on the ground. So slept on the ground really isn't such a bad thing. What I like about this game is that there's a lot of things that people complain about, at least as beginner RimWorld players, where, like, why did my colonist go on a mood uh, break? You know, all that happened was that he ate without a table and stuff like that. You don't really have that. Like, you get the sense that your colonists are focused on survival, whereas in RimWorld, you do sometimes get the sense of, like, I'm running a colony of maniacs. Um, no, you do get that sense in this game. It is very much a survival simulator where everyone is somewhat rational. Um, as you can see, their skills level up as you go. They did marksmen, so this is a great way to train for, um, you know, like a raid or anything like that. I'm noticing more than I can really even talk about. Um, I'm just going to kind of keep going through that. Let's get some production going because we want to get some meat. Um, we'll put out a butchering table right here, and I think it's R for rotate. We don't have the Q and E. Personally, I really like the Q and E, how they use to rotate in RimWorld because I can have more control over it, but maybe that will be added upon my, upon my humble request. Uh, I don't know anything about rooms and designations yet, so I'm largely just going to be putting everything in one room. I haven't noticed anybody get sick from meals either, so not too particularly worried about that. I was watching a smaller stream of play RimWorld for the first time, managed to get a captive, proceeded to roast said captive alive. I think that this is a lot more, like, <laughs> that's actually kind of rare for <laughs> for an early RimWorld streamer. Um, I, I definitely had a tendency to play RimWorld like, like a fighting game, whereas I think it needs to, in many ways, be played like The Sims. Because you spend so much time fighting your colonists when you first learn RimWorld. Whereas in this, I do feel like I'm playing a fighting game, which I think is what people will greet it as. Um, again, I kind of miss when a lot of these colony games were more accessible. It maybe was like Banished, but I see why RimWorld is more popular with a hardcore audience. Alright, let's go into Bills. Um, I already know how this works, so I'm just going to kind of explain it. Um, Largely identical to RimWorld. I like that. I'm, it's familiar to me. I just put in butcher any creature that you find, raw meat forever. Obviously, we want to do that. My one thing is that refrigeration is a little bit harder to come by, but it is there. And, you know, don't, like, debate me on historical accuracy. There were ways of preserving meat before this. Campfire on a wooden floor. I don't know if this is going to get me killed. Um, Let's just do it and find out if it's going to set the place on fire. It didn't before, so... Um, banished, banished is nice, but extremely limited. Yeah, you know, I'll go through a little bit of comparison here. Um, banished is very much more like a casual game, I feel like, whereas RimWorld is more something that you could really sit down with for thousands of hours. You know, open to debate, but... Now, I, I noticed that they kind of slow down when they get in each other's way. Um, 
Okay, there they are delivering supplies. The doors do function as double doors. That is quite nice. But I noticed that when I hit a single door before, it, it did kind of mess with their pathing or they, they slowed down with each other. Um, I don't know to what extent the pathfinding has been implemented yet or if there will be any changes, so let's go through that. Okay, let's go through a couple of other things. Yes, they don't have beds. Um, we're going to go up again into our roof here. I just designated some more wood for chopping. And you can see that this place is not looking all that dissimilar to RuneScape. <laughs> um, I, to be quite honest with you, I like that. I really like the look of it. Um, let me see. Hey, sleeping spot. We're going to give some of them some ass sleeping spots right now. They're going to sleep on hay. They won't be too happy with these, but it's going to be something. And you know what? Screw it. We'll make another one because everybody needs a bed. We're probably going to get a new col uh, colonist. Should we call them colonists? Sure. How big is the world map? Uh, it's not as big as RimWorld. Um, it's much more of a local game. Again, I feel like that these are things that would be easy to expand. But for me right now, I think that the overall gist of the gameplay is a lot of fun. And a lot of the things that I have kind of wished for, which I don't want to make this a wish list. Um, but it seems like a lot of the things that I thought of when I first played could be easily implemented. Bacon should be more valuable than gold in the game. Yeah. Now, actually, do we have pigs? I don't know. I think I might have messed up the way that I did some of these doors. Are these? Yeah, these are proper double doors, but I... Made these into, like, reverse double doors. I don't really know how to fix that. Um, I'm just going to kind of leave it. But there are little things like that that I have kind of overlooked. Um, hmm. It's early, but is there mod support yet? I think, don't quote me on this, but I think I read that there's going to be modding support. Um, seems pretty easy to mod. But, again, one thing that I inevitably compare a lot of games to RimWorld with is that RimWorld is so easy and so accessible to model uh, to mod because you don't need to be able to be a 3D modeler. You just need, like, Photoshop or GIMP or something like that. Uh, okay, we, we're missing a research table now, so I'm going to add that in. Again, I want to make a lot of progress here. Uh, we'll do basic research table up there, and then are they getting a major debuff for not eating at a table? I haven't seen this, but what they do crave is backgammon. They love their backgammon in this game. We're going to make the lower floor a stockpile and the upper, upper floor kind of like a living area. Um, they also like to worship Jesus. Um, I'm not sure if it's really Jesus. But we're going to put these outside because... Um, uh, I don't really know if I want to make like a whole shrine. It'll probably make a separate building for this, but it's just not really worth it right now. Let's just make some basic... I don't really know there's, like, two gods in the game. There's the b Wooden Oak Brethren shine Shrine and the Wooden Restitutionist Shrine. This one actually has a cross on it, but this one is some sort of pagan god, as far as I can see. Um, is this a penitentiary? Yeah, it probably looks like it right now. Um, hmm, tutorial on orders. Yeah, it has basic orders like that. We've done construction research available. Okay, so research. Uh, Do we give this enough space? Okay, research in this game is a little bit different from RimWorld, whereas in RimWorld you can just directly select a technology to research, and that's great. Um, in this game, I do like what they did, though, because you create these, like, chronicles, which is them writing books. See, like, here's a writing station. Um, and when they've got enough of these, then you can just pick what you want to spend them on as far as technologies. Because there's a pretty extensive research tree. I was surprised by this. Um... You know, even for early access, I didn't really expect quite this much. Uh, obviously, we want to get, like, agriculture so that they can grow their own food. Um, we might get wooden re weaponry, but I picked the right colonists this time, so they're pretty well off with what they've got. And you can also loot weapons from enemies that uh, wind up on the map. Um, is it a Christian game? I don't really... I mean, there's a cross here. Yeah, I was kind of wondering about that because there's so much, like, religious stuff in the game. I'm not really tired of lacking in religious activities, so let's just check on our colonists, make sure that their moods are okay. Just moderately tired, lacking in religious... Yep, so that's the only negative stuff that I could see. Um, again, they're sleeping on these hay bales, so they aren't going to be great quality beds, but they've got stuff like sleep, mood, food, and then it shows you their schedule. Other stuff is health. Now, I haven't really seen this if they can get a disease or anything like that, so I haven't I mean, you could really get killed easily by diseases in RimWorld. Stomach, I think, just means food. Pain, we don't have that. Blood, consciousness, 
Losing consciousness is a result of motor functions. If it reaches zero, blah, blah, blah. Um, food, religious... Now, nah, religious activities and entertainment activities are the main thing. Oh, alcohol requirement. I did not know that this was a thing. Okay, so apparently they need alcohol. All right, so we're just running a colony of alcoholics. Very well. Back, uh, back in Boston, we used to have Drink Like a Colonial Day on uh, Patriot's Day. And that was, uh... That drink was alcohol. Um, we didn't drink water from the... <laughs> Actually, this is a true story. When I went to college, we had drink like a colonial day. So the water wasn't clean in colonial times, if you don't know. So they had to drink alcohol because it was safe to drink. Um, at least that's my pretty naive idea of the history. <laughs> Are we building a motel now? Essentially a motel. Yes, something like this. That's the right idea. I kind of want to get um, one basic defensive structure before we go any further out. I should have brought these back a little bit. My one complaint is you can't move furniture right now, at least as I've seen. Um, oh, oh, I'm going to get a slightly better defensive wall going soon. But let's just see our research. Okay, so this was a little bit confusing for me. See how it says available, 26 allocated this number so we've got to get architecture first we've got fifth uh 26 available so we're going to need like a total of 30 to get both architecture and ag agriculture this is going to get like support beams i don't really know what the rationale is behind the order of the tech tree unlock but we're just going to go with it we're not going to question it for now um oh what was that tutorial on mood we kind of know everything about mood right now report bugs or send feedback almanac historical records screenshot mode oh that's pretty nice all right, so what I'm thinking is this. I should have made this place just a little bit bigger. Um, I don't really want to make it much larger. I'm just trying to see what I'll need. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. So we're going to make this structure go kind of up and out. Mm. Am I going to do this? I was thinking of putting like another wooden wall back here. Bring it back by like two so that this way they could go outside. Um, but I'm going to need more room. Nah, this isn't going to look quite as good as I thought it would. I'm just trying to think of what I want this structure to look like. Alright, well, that's fine. Um, you know, let's just expand out our walls a little bit. That way we have, like, some room to deal with here. Um, this is, again, this is going to be the interior. Let's make one large outer wall. Yes, this will be, <laughs> this, will, this will actually be a great use of their time. Um, yeah, I, I can get food as ever I need it. My, my one concern with some of the stuff is I don't want to get stuff in the, the short term. So we'll build, like, all the way around out here. Let's see how far out are we going to go. Four. I wish there was a nicer way to count. Five. Six. Yeah, that would be a, a nice feature to get. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's get, like, twenty around. And we'll create one main gate. Right? That way, our enemies all get funneled in on one side. Um, and then we could just create, like, one kind of kill box. That makes sense as medieval strategy, so I'm not thinking of it as a cop-out. Do we have to unlock wooden palisades? We do. Uh, I believe. Do we? You mean, uh, oh, what are they? Battlements? Palisades? Oh, palisades. No. Um, sorry, I had to remember what palisades were. Uh, I haven't seen palisades yet, but we have these stick traps, which are extremely deadly. And they can also create walls very fast, like alarmingly fast. Um, solo colonist is not fun. Yeah, I feel like if I did a solo colonist, it would probably just be like for the memes, like as a challenge. Um, probably it wouldn't be any good. I wouldn't do it until we're like really good at the game. Um, there wasn't any way to make a custom colonist too. That would be nice, but Rimworld also doesn't have that. All right, let's just count these out. I do want to get, try to make this kind of squarish. I want it to be architecturally pleasing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I think that's about twenty. Might not be a perfect square, but it's going to be pretty close. All right, so I'm going to go like twenty around on all sides, and then that's going to be our main structure. On one side, we're going to create kind of like a gauntlet for enemies to come in on. Now, I don't know if they'll just, like, attack the wall if they get too far, if they get too close. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so more or less a square. Great, okay. Um, do we have any pressing needs? While you're building the wall, I don't want you to have a conniption. How much do we charge to build a big table with 20 chairs? Oh, God, I'll do that for free. Well, I want to have... Oh, God, they're sleeping in the rain now. All right. I mean, I imagine that some of these mood debuffs are still to be implemented because my colonists just seem a little bit too happy. Uh, this is probably a good move on the devs' part but before they, you know, while they're still in early access. <laughs> you don't want everybody's colonists going crazy. I have seen a good number of players just kind of, like, rage on a game because they couldn't figure it out. Um, oh, this is interesting. This decays... Let's just make sure that our other piles down there don't decay. I haven't really taken a look on these things in a while. Inside spare room. Decaying because of temperature. Okay. This is just our food. I just want to make sure our main... Okay, so our wood isn't de deteriorate nah, deteriorating. Pretty much fine. All right. Um. Oh, you know, I forgot to do one thing. This was stupid of me, but it's only because they had a lot of it before. Okay. Um. Yes, we have to make meals. Again, we could do the until you have feature, so we'll do until we have like 10 meals. That seems good for them. Th my lord, they can really down trees pretty fast in this. That is a nice thing. Ah, uh, not cut plants. Here we go, harvest. We do want them to have enough food. I don't really know how much is a lot yet, but we're just going to keep on downing trees out here. And we'll go over here because we're going to need to down these trees anyway. Yes, the inside of our base will be a treeless... Uh wasteland however on the other hand I'm also going to be like planting trees as we go so I'll kind of shape the area prepare uh, carefully is a necessary rimworld mod for me yeah absolutely um, you know I imagine mods like that will probably be easy to make as they come they don't have a bathroom I don't think that um, peeing and pooping are implemented in it so it is like rimworld in that way um, but again you know to what, ex to what level of accessibility and realism are they going in? And I, I think once we get into a couple of combats, then I think it's going to be more uh, more clear what the gist of this game is about. Oh, here we go, a clay pile. Because I really do think that this one seems to be about combat. Z-Levels makes the game seem way too complex for my brain. Oh, because you can go up and down in... Eh. I mean, like, I think that the control... That's more of a control and, like, visual thing what, the one thing that i think that this game does really well and i'll say after this message oh hey oh wait is it gonna read it out oh <laughs> man tts is not working for me today i don't know why hey shreddy thank you very much for the 500 bits my friend you're my hero well i'm gonna be a florida man soon so but florida man is america's superhero um but as, as we as we go carrying on then um, one thing about RimWorld that is not often talked about, and that is a beautiful element of game design, and Tynan spoke about this at the, uh, what was it, the Game Dev Conference, um, is how RimWorld is very selective about what visual information to convey. And I think that this is actually doing it pretty well. You know, a lot of games get too busy on the visual information. I've seen a lot of games that are like RimWorld. I'm not going to name any names, but games that are in a similar colony management vein and they have beautiful art, but it's beautiful as something to look at, not as something to play a game for. And they don't convey visual information as um, as well as they might be able to. RimWorld is beautiful because of its simplicity. I'm just going to count here again. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I think that's about 20 again. Um, RimWorld is good as a game. I wouldn't put it up in an art museum. But if that art museum were for game dev and what game dev is supposed to do um, to make an experience engaging for players, I think that RimWorld does that. Oh, why is that on the upper floor? <laughs> some, okay, some stuff like that is happening. Um, I assume that this is because I tried to build right where there were trees. So let's just chop down a few more trees. You know what? Let's leave that one tree there for decor. Um, yeah, you know, I, I could really get better at making a nice looking colony um yeah so all i'm trying to say here is that for example i need to know where my colonists are my colonists are lit up that's very nice a lot of the rest of the world is very darkened um 
which kind of makes me glance over that visual information. I'm not really paying attention to what's in the woods. And that's a good thing. I don't want to be distracted by what's in the woods when I'm playing. Um, my walls uh, strongly contrast with the, um, you know, whatever else is in the world. Um, I think it's very easy to see what's going on visually. And I still have yet to add in light. I don't have any light in this colony yet. Shreddy, thank you for the gift sub. Hey, God bless, my friend. Um, this isn't Rimworld, question mark. Yes, basically a, a, a medieval mod. Um, but, you know, again, let's judge it on its own merits. Rimworld is beautiful like reading a book is beautiful. The best visuals are in the player's imagination. Exactly. Exactly. I wish I, wish I had said that. Um, yeah, you know, it's kind of like performance art. When you suggest a colonist, like, kind of hitting against another one in Rimworld... Your, your imagination kind of fills in the details. That's what RimWorld does really well. Um, and you need... It it uh, it pulls upon the player's imagination to do that. Um, but, you know, this game is visually beautiful. Research available. Build up your defenses. Okay, so now we've got a couple more research bits available. Um, I'm going to go for agriculture because I think it looks nice. I'm, I'm going to do my best to make the fields look okay. And I'm kind of basing this off of what I once read. There's a series of children's books that show a medieval castle. I um, can't remember what they're called. I think they're just called Castle. It's very simple. Now, is this ground clay? I haven't really looked at what is what. But yeah, see there on the lower left, we've got like salt, soil, grass. I haven't even examined the ground at all yet, but this is really neat and it's very Minecrafty, um, which is a good thing in my opinion. Um, I'm going to try not to plant on the salt, because I assume it's terrible for your crops to plant on salt. I know nothing about farming, um, but that just sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> is, is it a good thing? Well, I'm, I'm just going to go with my own naive, naive idea of farming. Now, you can change crops, so let's uh, get a bunch of different stuff. I've noticed that some of this stuff spreads. Like, I've seen a couple more hay bales grow, so I think that there is, like, growth going on. Um... And I think that this is a pretty deep game. It has, it has more than might meet the eye at first. Um, let's build, like, maybe two in from our walls. And we'll build in patches of... I don't really know how much we're going to need. Let's do something small because I don't want to get myself into a major liability here. But let's get, like, five by five patches. We'll get some carrots. Um, and I'm just going to grow, like, a little bit of everything. Actually, this is going to take them a while to... Uh, Nah, it's too late. Let's just go with it. No, it's not too late. It's not too late. Let's not. Let's not hide. Let's not do this. Nope, don't do that. What is it? K for deconstruct? Okay, I'm going to make them 4x4. Four four, only because I don't want to get myself into spending the, all of my time farming. 4x4. Um, four four. That's a little bit more manageable. 4x4. Four 4x4. Four. Four by four. Now you can make it so that these do or don't appear, like the colored overlay for the zones. Personally, I like having it so that it like makes the. It, it kind of goes along with my thesis from before that this game is doing visuals pretty well. Um, my thesis and my PhD in gameology. Yes. Oh man, I should have started at one of the corners. It won't be perfect. Yeah. Well. That's all right. I'm just going to plant one of everything. All right. It's all right. I, you know, I my OCD is kicking in a little bit here, but it's okay. Tall grass. Let's get a little bit of that. And we could also grow trees. I'd like to see how quickly these things grow, so I'm just going to grow my own little birch tree forest right here. Beautiful, beautiful weather effects. I'm going to speed up time and just let them get to work a bit. I think they're fairly well defended, so we'll just kind of leave it at that. Sowing the earth with salt. Wait a minute, is that good? I, m I missed that. Do I know if there are any plans for multiplayer? So far, I have no idea, unfortunately. First time catching the stream. Loving the videos. Hey, thank you, Mr. K Karupika. Mr. Karupika sounds like a gym teacher. A little bit. Like a... Like a... Like a, maybe a scary gym teacher. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Okay! Oh! Yeah, ha, ha, ha. An event. All right. Um, 
Whether it was the third seeking of a poor sinner to make an example of some, uh, this is the same event I got before. I don't know if we're getting some kind of Cassandra classic storyteller or if it's the same every single time. It'd be neat if there were storytellers or more randomization implemented, but I, you know, it's probably just an early and dev thing. Aldrick raved about religion, torture, escape, but the details were confused. Would you give them refuse? Okay, so this is a guy fleeing from uh, Florida's inhabitants. So again, we do get some choice here. I like this. Um, personally, I like these visuals. I, I know it's like a little bit realistic for the game. It would be neat if it had its own like little thing, but I mean, RimWorld doesn't even have that when you think about quests. Is that like moving in and out? Okay, I'm just noticing little things about this. Okay, we're gonna give Ordric a home. Uh, I should have checked out what he had as far as traits went. But we're just gonna... I wanted to show you the event anyway. Okay, so this guy is an animal handler and a carpenter. And he's not bad in melee either. Or he has the potential to be good in it. Um, he's pretty good with culinary too. And I didn't really even think about that. We haven't really specialized our colonists yet. They're just kind of default to everything. But I'm going to start to specialize them now in whatever they're good at. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's, uh, okay, so, just to kind of make that point, so, yeah, we just took in a colonist. Is he wounded? He's slightly wounded. He is, uh, it appears as if he was taken captive, because he is currently wearing chains. Um, <laughs> settler wound needs tending. Someone should get to this, but let's now start to, uh, uh, where is this? Not schedule. We'll leave their schedule at the default because I don't know if they need a certain number of hours of sleep or something like that. But now we're going to start to specialize everyone in whatever it is their preferred activity. Um, I'm going to give... Who is this? I like this. You see this subtle thing slightly beneath my mouse? How their level and the skill actually pops up. Does that happen in RimWorld? There's a couple of little things that are like... Um, kind of building on what RimWorld does really well. And I like that. Um, and you like that. Okay, you are our only good researcher. I'm just going to do a kind of naive skill uh, preference thing by just kind of giving everybody their passions. Um, crafting, and I assume that's... What is stewarding? I don't really even know what stewarding is. Taking care of basic tasks like locking doors, closing windows, extending... Okay, so then this is... Uh, this is sort of like basic in real world. I don't see why that wouldn't be a little bit further up, but all right. All right, so pretty similar. This is very navigable. I like the controls that they have there. Um, I thought his chain was a necktie. Yes, he just got back from a really bad 9 to 5 job. This guy has really just had it. Um, he's tired. He wants a different job. <laughs> What's his name? Ordric Adler. Let me see. One thing I would like is if names more consistently appeared over your colonists, because I think that that's an important detail. But I think that this game really is very visual. Like, I'm sometimes looking for a colonist. But, you know, it's not too busy either. Like, um, the UI isn't very crowded. I don't know why I need that big bubble of, like, happiness. But all right. Um, Dwight Currington botany skill is now 11. We'll let them just keep on doing these things. I have a feeling I need to assign them some more tasks, though. Um, do we have wood? We do have wood. Okay, let's build... Our main gate. So we're going to be getting attacked by enemies in, like, less than two days. So let's get ready for an attack now. Um, do I think there will be a Rimworld, too? I think it would just be more DLC, but I have no idea. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's build one main gate. I'm surprised at how quickly they can get, um, I'm surprised at how quickly they can get walls up. So I am going to try to finish this outer wall now. We're going to build there, and then to, where is it there? Oh, the, actually, these grid markings are really nice, because I could see where something is, like, at a 90-degree angle. See how it kind of lights it up for, like, that whole extent? Yeah, you could see that. You like that. Uh, fortunately, it's really easy to deconstruct stuff, too. Uh, but let's see. Here we go. We've got this. I do want kind of a grand entrance here, if I can manage it. So that seems a little bit L for cancel. See, in RimWorld, cancel is C. I like that because it's close to my thumb. I wish I could remap that. In fact, let's see if we can remap any of the controls. Um, is that a thing? Of course, I would like it if it were just like default like that. <laughs> it must be the best. Uh, destroy building, order, cut, uh, order, blah, blah, blah. 
I don't know if I'm just being an idiot right now. I don't actually see order. Forbid allow. Oh, order cancel. Here we go. Okay, so I could map that to a secondary of C. I don't think that's already mapped to anything, so I'm just going to... I'm going to remap things to the RimWorld controls just for my own sanity in that way. Um, and can we auto... Can we directly order? Yes, we can do direct orders. Okay, very good. Very good. Hey, Mr. Weeboo. Thank you very much for the sub, my friend. God bless. God bless. So we're going to get ready for the enemies. We've got one day and 15 hours. It's actually a fairly decent amount of time. I'm going to copy this over, and we're going to build this over here. I'm not particularly afraid, only because I've seen one raid, um, and it wasn't too, too bad. Um, and if they do get hurt, they could just kind of recover from it. But we do want to see, is Dwight, who is it? No, it's Ordric. Wait, why is your name green? Are you just in a really good mood today? Mood joyful. Okay, very good. Mood neutral. Okay, so then that makes sense. Yes, so they are joyful when they are green. Well, that's a very nice thing to see. That's kind of like... It's kind of like several RimWorld types of mod things have already been incorporated into this. You know, like color-coded mood bars achieves a similar effect. I don't know about rotting food and if we need to get rid of it, though. So that is something that I need to examine more. And also stockpile uh, requirements. Um, oh, this is interesting. Does the carcass rot? Oh, whatever. Okay. He is very good with the steady wooden spear, so we'll leave that as his... Radio K5 and Mr. Karupika. Oh, great. I'll be attending your gym class one of these days. Sorry, I just made that up. No offense. No offense. Sorry, I have fond memories of gym. Chained up. Can I unchain or... Oh, does... Is he actually still... Oh, that's a good point. Can we... Yeah, can we remove any of that gear from him? We don't want him to... <laughs> His captors will know it's him right away. Flimsy shackles. Okay, let's see. Is this giving him any... Strong iron manacles are attached to prevent captives from escape and mischief. Now, it doesn't really say anything else. It seems as if it's making him slightly insulated. But it also says that it's force equipped. Let's tell him to unequip that, yeah. I mean, just kind of for sanity. <laughs> um, Alright, we'll allow them to take it. And I don't know if we can take other people prisoner. Maybe we can too. Who knows? Um... Maybe it will be implemented as a feature. All right, let's see. We have agriculture now, but we're also... We don't have any research. Yeah, because we've been just assigning them to other tasks. Well, let them just kind of get continued with that. Now, why are they upset now? You just woke up and you were pissed. Slept in uncomfortable bed. Minus one only, though, so that's fine. Eight raw food. Oh, we got to get a, a dedicated cook. I don't know if these stack on one on top of the other, but nobody's in a bad mood, so actually, let's just get the wall. Um, all right, combat. Let's get to that. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. See how they've spent so much time on farming? I'm going to actually deassign some of it in a bit. Ah, they're working on it. It's fine. All right, um, now you do get an advantage for being up on top of something, and we've got one day and eight hours, so we've still got a good amount of time left. Let's get, uh... A couple of stick traps, because I'm going to just force them through here. As far as I can see, I think they just go right for it. Yeah, let's do something like that. <laughs> it's kind of... I don't want to... I don't know if my villagers will force activate these. I haven't seen enough gameplay to determine that yet. But let's do... Um, let's build kind of like a rampart up here. Is that the right word for that? Is this a rampart? Um thinking of what I want this to look like. Yeah, this is kind of neat. Of course, we could also make this indoors later on, too, which is cool. Um, invalid position. Layers are... No, I want to check this out. Wooden floor. Are we on the... Uh, I think we're on the upper floor here. Yeah, good. That appears to be on the upper floor. But see, it's very easy to go between levels. I'm not... I'm not really thinking too much about what I'm constructing because it's just... They did the controls right. Uh, this is a re it's really hard to do good controls in a colony building game which is why I say like this this game might be worth a look guys um it's it's very comfortable to control my one thing is I don't get the same like level of gratification whenever I click on everything because Rimworld has all of these little sound effects that are like click click clack and it <laughs> he said click click clack whatever um it's very satisfying from for every second to play Rimworld like it's really really nice I'm wondering how they're going to achieve, or if they want to achieve something similar to that, because I think 
It's just something that makes a colony building game really, really nice. Hieroglyphic! Holy cow, that's a lot. Hey, thank you very much for the five gift subs, Hieroglyphic. Got you. Got you. Many thanks. Oh, what is this? God, my TTS might be off. Sorry about that. I did War Thunder Proud. Great video. Thanks for having... <laughs> Hope you're having a frab just day. Ah, ah, Relic. Thank you very much. And thanks for the, uh... For the DM, my friend. I appreciate it. I do usually... I'll, I'll let you guys know only because I got a couple personal DMs. Um, I usually keep DMs off in the Discord only because I can't respond to every all of them all day. So I, it was a rare occurrence where I had them on. Um, but feel free to ping me anytime, um, and I'll answer it right away. So I don't want to make you think I'm, you know, giving you the cold shoulder or anything. But maybe I am. Um, no, but I'm, I'm, uh, just to kind of put that out there. Um, carrying on, carrying on. But that means a lot, thank you. I, I worked hard on that War Thunder video. Um, they, they were a very nice company to work with, and also the agent company. Actually, it's, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. The company that I worked with was the same one for um, for Going Medieval. So they, they put me off to both War Thunder and Going Medieval. Although it's different developers, um, but they're just fine people to work with. And it's very nice to uh, kind of see that as I go. Uh, the UI and Foley sounds are important from a design standpoint for usability and input feedback. That is very well phrased, Cyanide. Um, I wish I had said it in such a studious way. <laughs> yes, that is that is what I meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> um... Oh god, let's see if we can... Can we manage... Only because I would like something that goes over the... You're gonna, You're gonna like this. Okay, now we see the true colors. Alright, so what we've got to do is this. If we want to have like a rampart overlooking this, then we've got to get... But see, this is like something that you would never see in RimWorld. This is nice. Like, the fact that we could get this thing overlooking some traps that's nice you like this you're gonna like this game a lot um man actually the more i play it the more excited i am about it and i just kind of wanted to take out some time raid shadow legends win i don't know maybe it's a great game i've never actually played it <laughs> you, you know who i think did the best one of that was uh the internet historian <laughs> that was my probably my favorite advertisement i've ever seen this video that has nothing to do with raid, <laughs> and he just keeps going back to it. I can't. What what was that video called again? That's somebody has to look that up. All right, so we've got a two wide rampart. Um, assuming that this is a rampart, I believe that this is a rampart. Please be a rampart. Um, but we've got less and less time for this. Let's just go ahead and chop down some more trees. We've got an auto save feature implemented too, which is nice. It does keep only one auto save, I believe. I hope that they. Uh, raise that to like three or four because I always need them. Um, watching progress bars fill up slowly, seeing things rise from nothing. Yeah, like uh, seeing progress bars fill up is what I is another favorite of mine. I noticed that there are some things that seem very early access, like um, sometimes the text appears too close together. But I don't know. I'm just trying to sound smart right now, guys. I always used to read Game Informer and sit on the toilet as a kid and just be like, have all these highfalutin thoughts about games. I'm just grateful that I now have a channel where you guys will listen to my bullshit. So thank you for that. I appreciate you. But I wish I, I, wish I could compose thoughts verbally as well as I can uh, in a written way. I much prefer writing for that kind of thing. <laughs> Maybe we'll start an AA blog. I was playing the game today, the game, the games today, and I thought to myself, huh, wouldn't this game be better with more orcs? I hope that they add in fantasy races. I've seen only people, but, oh, who even knows? I just think it would be so neat. I love fantasy. I thank you, Bright Lancer. And Relic, thank you for the bits, too. I didn't say that before, but thank you. And somebody picked berries in the berry. Yeah, we picked quite... A the berries are extremely plentiful right now. The one thing I'll say is that it's nice that I'm not, like, out of food and everyone's dead right now, because that could have also easily happened. My only thing is it's... Um, I guess if a colonist were pissed, they would have a red mood bar or something like that. But we're getting all of this four times eight raw food. Let's go assign somebody to the... Because that seems to be the worst thing that can happen to them. 
Cooking. Um, who is our best cook? I'm gonna give that person like a one on cooking. Okay. Dwight is a pretty good cook. I'm actually going to assign Ooh. Ordric. Excuse me, do you hear me burp? Why did I burp? Oh well. Disgusting. Disgusting that you ever think that you're an animal and just be disgusted with yourself. I'm an animal. Alright, why are you going over there, Bay Hild? What are you doing? Getting resources for construction. Very well. Tally ho then. You know what we might have also done here is boxed ourselves in. Um I'm wondering if there's a way that we could implement some sort of like little gate that they could easily get in and out of without compromising their defenses. My vocabulary is awesome. Why, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, love this. Can you compliment me again? Please. I need it. I need the comp the confidence. Okay, great. So Ordric is cooking now. Chopper's doctorin'. Um, very little One Piece reference. Hmm. All right, so they've got all of this crap building up. They've got a pile of bones. God, we're living like sobs. Okay, I have not looked into any of this, but clearly this is... Uh, I feel so... It's comfily like RimWorld. Let's just ex... Wait a minute. I'm, oh, no, I just made an entirely different stockpile. Oh, no. Expand zone. Yes, we must expand the zone. I'm going to move these workshops out of here. I don't know if it gets in their way to walk over these things. Let's just kind of make it so that it doesn't get directly in anybody's way. Kind of, sort of. Oh, this is interesting. The fuck are you doing? You are just floating in. Oh, you are. <laughs> no, you are playing backgammon. Oh, no, you're not even playing backgammon. You're just kind of strategizing backgammon. This is my favorite animation. They do this over and over. They just kind of give that, like, emoji, like, hmm, thought face. My new haircut is very... What are you, who showed you my haircut? Why does Ordric wake up so late compared to the others? Oh, I don't know, actually. What the fuck is convalescing? What does convalescing mean again? Let's try to get it from the roots. Convalescing. Isn't that like when you're seeing God or something? Oh. All right. Um. Now we could surrender Ordric back. It's kind of funny. We could just lie to Ordric. We could just be like, yep. I lied. Um, oh, he's recovering. Well, what is he recovering from? He's just a slob. Typically by... Sl yeah, that's okay. That's fair. I thought that convalescing meant that you were speaking to God. I don't know why. You ever have words like that? Like sensual and sensory? Okay, um, we're going to go through drafting. I'm not prepared for this attack. I was almost prepared for this attack, which makes me very upset. Um, but we're also going to use a height advantage here. Now, what are these people armed with? I didn't really have a trouble taking out look they're all melee they do have nice armor um but we're going to try to just avoid fighting them at all um and we do have two powerful ranged colonists so i'm going to take all of my colonists and can we just do this yes let's shift click all of them and i think it's t to draft i'm actually going to remap that in the controls right now to r where do we have that the camera gameplay gameplay settlers draft okay i'm also going to make that r because it's just going to make everything a secondary control on the remworld ones until i learn them um Okay, we're gonna draft everybody, and you, Diana, don't try to get out of this one. Um, and we're gonna put them all there. Now, they can all occupy one space. Before, I had, like, battlements. I don't know to what extent they help. Florida man burned at the stake sounds like a realistic news. Oh, yeah, so I forgot that the, f yeah, the colony name is Florida. Because <laughs> it's, because that's where we're going. All right, Diana, you're gonna go there, and you're gonna like it. Then you are going to, damn it, can we finish off this? I'm an idiot. All right. We're just going to have to go through this first one without the proper defenses. You go up there because you have a bow. Um, one thing I do greatly respect about this game is the fact that your colonists, settlers, whatever we want to call them, they don't get angry simply by being drafted. And actually, we do have a little bit more time, it appears. Can we have you two finish this wall? Okay, you know what? Chop down that tree and then finish this wall. This is going to be kind of a nail-biter. I apologize for that. I didn't claim to be good at this game yet, but let's have you two... Yes, chop down this oak tree. But my daddy owns the lake. Uh, chop down this. Now, the one thing I can't do is... Oh, wait, I, I did. I totally just did what I said I wasn't allowed to do. Never mind. All right, we're going to do some procrastination here. You chop down that oak tree. Good, already working on it. Thank you. Okay, great. 
Okay, here they are just kind of milling about. Um, and in fact, you two were going to de-draft you as well. And I'm going to prioritize you on some other procrastination. Um, Diana, you finish constructing that wood wall. Maybe they'll be distracted by those wabbits over there. Fast speed disabled during raid, almost exactly similar to RimWorld again. Um, what the hell are you- what do you think you're doing? No, help. Uh, god damn it. Okay, we're gonna need another tree. Okay, Brunhilde, or whatever your name is, get out there. Great. Work! Work! Don't let them in. I No, I don't plan on letting them in. Okay, good. Behild, you get the, um... Oh, damn it. Okay. You know what? No, we don't have time. Everybody back to... Go return to the original plane. I struggle with forward thinking. You know, it's because I'm a perfectionist. I want to have everything done. But it's just it's just not ready. God, Ordric looks like such a... Doofus right here. Um, I'm not too worried, though, because they did a, they did a fine job. Actually, in fact... You know what, they're not going to go over my spike traps. They don't even like that. Um, let's just have our wall defenders stand up there on the wall. Good, so you've got that. You've got that. You hold that spot. I get the sense that this could be very much like RimWorld in that you could hold down one location. But I haven't seen what happens when I completely wall myself in yet. All right. Uh, just going to show you a little bit of the combat UI here. It's pretty nice, pretty accessible. You two stay there. See, like, look at how much damage they did to that guy. That guy is effed up right now. He's dead. Yeah, like that. I haven't seen a friendly fire as a phenomenon in this yet, but as you can see, it was very easy. Two sworn enemies died during the fight with beleaguered settlers. It, like, wasn't that very simple? I would highly recommend this game. My one thing is, again, like I said, I don't get that momentary satisfaction, but maybe it's just because I've played so much RimWorld. Um... It seems like something that can be very easily accommodated with a Foley sound designer. Beleaguered settles came under the attack of the spring of 1353. Their ordeal continued for two hours and 21 minutes. Mercifully, all settlers survived the raid. Two sworn enemies died during the fight, and Dwight Currington was the bravest of settlers, dealing the most blood. See, I like this because it adds to some storytelling. Ooh, that guy just levitated. Wowzers. All right, everyone's de-drafted. You get all their stuff. You get some corpses. Ooh, everyone's up. Why are we upset? We just want to fight, though. Drank good ale. We have ale? Oh, yeah, we've got to get that brewing up. What else was I going to say? The one thing I, I do lack with these, like, low-poly characters to a certain extent is that in RimWorld, despite the fact that characters are so simple, you do grow a little bit more attached to each of your characters as their stories kind of unfold. Um... I don't know if I really feel as attached to these characters. Maybe it's just because I'm not a big fan of low-poly games. But if there were something that made them a little bit more personalized, I think the lack of... This could be very easily... This could very easily go the other way, like Stonehearth. Um, was a very similar game. I just never really had a chance to get into Stonehearth because I felt like the controls were hard for me to get a grasp on. Um, but on the other hand, I feel like that that's something... You know, I don't want to just keep comparing it to RimWorld. Maybe it's a very different type of experience, but... Um, yeah, that's a similar, another feeling I would like to have when I'm playing the game. I don't know, just think of it like that. Um, have I played Amazing Cultivation Simulator? I have. I have not gotten a hang of it yet, though, which is why I haven't played it yet. And I want to do it justice. I might do it in a stream coming up soon, um, but it's very similar to this. Um, and I like the fact that they're doing something that's more Eastern. Um... I, I think we need more variety in this genre. Genre. Keep coming back to saying that word. All right, let's um, designate a few tree, few more trees for cutting. I'm getting a little bit faster with the controls here, and I'm feeling more like a speed runner as I do this. I really like the woods. I don't want to chop down the woods, but I gotta. All right, let's do that. Um, why is everybody in such a pissy mood? Diana, you don't... Saw it. Oh, okay. Well, I like that. Saw a dead body. But it's not such an unreasonable mood thing. In RimWorld, it's like, I'm gonna go crazy, but you just won. You know? Banished is a fine game. Keep saying that. Art style reminds me of the zombie survival game with the mom and the kid. Oh, what was that game? Uh, Unturned? I, I didn't play much Unturned. Yeah, I could see a little bit of Unturned to this. 
I'm also getting a little bit of Minecraft, too. Which, mind you, is a good thing. Um, Minecraft is a great game. Um, we could borrow a lot of principles from it. Alright, let's go ahead and... Um, I, I kind of want to make this defensive area. We're going to deconstruct this because this is like a short-term type of thing. I'm trying to think how we're going to get in and out of this base. Again, I've got to figure... I wish we had walled in more territory. But what I think we could do is borrow from actual medieval castle design where they would wall in a certain area and then they would start to work in there. You know, like we walled in all our area and now we can safely expand in here. We don't have to worry about people burning our crops and, you know, um, harassing us and all that jazz. Um, I don't really know if we're in any danger with food. I'm just going to keep hunting. But I do get the sense that we need a lot of colonists. Let's just speed them up and let them uh, get this done. We're also going to... Let's focus on the main gate area, and then we'll also just construct a light wall along the outside. Um, only in case if, like, I don't know if somebody's going to come in with fire. I don't even understand how this game works yet. I don't know if somebody could burn down my base with fire arrows, so... That's a real concern. I'm going to need some fire arrow insurance. I think an easy thing to make the building system a lot more pleasing would be to add in like a count of how many tiles you've gone over. I don't know if I'm just not seeing it on the UI. Oh wait, I'm not seeing it on the UI. It appears right there. Do you see below my mouse? One by 11, it is there. And I was just being an ignoramus when I said that before. Yep. Um, we're also gonna uh, equip some of these guys gear. Does it say at the top that my reserves are... Oh, where am I? Where does it say that my reserves are low? Food stock... Oh, that's not good. But we have all of those current bushes. It is also taking our uh, crops a while to grow, though. <laughs> all right, let's get a... Uh, let's harvest some of these current bushes. We're going to need that. Are those gray aliens lying dead there? Yeah, I was going to comment on that, actually. I, I like the way that corpses become kind of just, like, pale and ghostly. I don't know why. I, d I just think it's a nice way to keep the game from being too violent. Nothing wrong with violence. But I, I just feel like that it can get kind of distracting, and a lot of games can get caught up in, like, the gore, and it's just, like, it's not what's most compelling about the game. Um, if I enjoyed Banish, try Kingdoms Reborn. I've not tried that, but I will write it down. Kingdoms Reborn. There's a lot of games in this genre that have accomplished different levels of casual accessibility or lack thereof i don't know it's uh it's it's something i, I think about a lot being a being a let's player all right so we're just going to kind of speed up time food reserve stockpiles is low i've got to let them do some work here let's just see what we've actually got in terms of food who is our cook and is he working we have 9 out of 10 meals. Okay, so it's not an issue of not having enough raw food. We have plenty of raw food. It's just that we've got to make some time for hunting. Hunting and gathering from bushes. Um, and also just dis extinguishing all the local wildlife. Kingdoms reborn. Can dif make different room types with diff bonuses to production. It's under the top left menu. Just notice it myself. Oh, I did not see that. Where? Which top left menu? Um, oh, overlay of rooms detected. Ooh, room types legend. Okay, wow. So this is something that I didn't even know about. Okay, so this is very much like a room world. Thank you. I did not see that. Thank you, Eknas. Um, yeah, let's take a look at that because now we're going to want to start to... Now that we have basic defenses, you know, sleeping, production, we're going to want to start to specialize and uh, speed up the kind of pace of gameplay. Oh, I didn't even notice the cloud shadows. Yeah, that is pretty neat. I noticed that the fog and the rain just are great effects. I think that that looks great. Um, hey, it's just Kev. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it, my friend. Appreciate it very much. Bury them, burn them, or it could cause disease. At the very least, they should need to be dumped outside. Oh, this is what they should be. Yeah, I think, you know, those systems that make the game more difficult, or, like, things like that. I, I don't really know what their vision is in terms of realism. The pile of rots. Let's see if we can learn about rotting. Decomposition and rot. Certain resources and items can decompose or rot. I appreciate that they put GIFs with all of these. That's very nice. Um, or GIFs. Where are you on this debate? GIF, GIF. Let me know your thoughts. Yes, uh, keratin. 
Certain resources and items can decompose or rot. Reasons for decomposition rotting, being outdoors, leaving your resources to get affected by the rain or snow will make them decompose faster. Neat. Place a roof over your stockpile to stop this from happening. Temperature. Ground type. Okay. Um, and it seems as if there is research for, uh, like, some type of refrigeration. Again, I'm not really familiar with medieval refrigeration. Didn't it somehow involve sawdust and ice? I remember that only from reading, um... I remember as a kid I read the book Laura Ingalls Wilder, Farmer Boy, and they talk about that in the book. No, that is far after middle medieval times, but it's before refrigeration. Um, thank you for showing this game to me. It started, uh, like 20 minutes ago. Absolutely loving it. Uh, I do not know price yet, unfortunately. Um, but it seems very much worth... I mean, assuming that devs are, like, keeping up with early access stuff and communicating with players. Um, you know, I think that this has potential to even outdo a RimWorld. Um, only because it's just so different. I don't know if people will grow as attached to it for the UI, and I think something that um, has made RimWorld stand the test of time is just the fact that the modding community is huge. But, you know, again, I don't want to get into too many big debates like that, I suppose. Spare room empty for now, perhaps in time, its purpose will become apparent. Okay, that's more or less what that is. A great hall. Click to select a room of this type. I wonder what tells us that it is this type of room. Um, Oak Brethren Temple. Oh. Chapels, libraries, workshops, and kitchens. Okay, so let's see what a kitchen has. Stove, butchering table, and pottery shelf. So we need to research a lot of this stuff first. Let's see how our research is going. We still don't really even have time to finish research. Let's just give them some time to finish off these defenses, and then we'll specialize their rooms more. I want to make sure we've got walls all along the outside. Um, so let's let them kind of get to that. They've got all the crops growing, so now it's just a lot of walking to do um, and coming back and constructing. Do we have one person specializing in construction? One thing I think would be welcome would be if they let the game speed up time a bit more because it does seem to take a little bit longer. Um, and there are these periods of waiting that I wish were shorter. Um, be playing the drink when it says Rimworld might be as soon. <laughs> the other thing we're going to have to think about is brewing, only because my colonists started off with some ale. They still got six ale, or six, what is it? Yeah, ale. Um, but they'll run out of that pretty fast. Botany construction is growing, I guess, from cutting down all those trees. And are all of these being allowed? Some of the clay piles are forbidden, but we don't really want them wasting their time bringing back clay right now. Let's also have them... I should have done this before, but I forgot. Um, I can't really tell the wool winter clothes. Leather... Th no wonder these guys attacked us. Yeah, they, they had only winter clothes. They didn't like it. They didn't like being overheated. Um, yeah, that's too bad. You know, I, I have sympathy for my enemies here. What are our other colonists wearing? Let's just look in their gear sections. Inventory, fine leather, wool. Win Why are you all wearing winter clothes? I guess that's going to be another major part of the game is, I mean, maybe they'll, like, freeze during winter and everyone will die and I'm not really prepared. I imagine that the harvest is going to end, and then we're just going to need to store a lot of food, because right now it's only spring. Still haven't seen quite how many time... Oh, days from start. 12 days each in season. So that's similar to RimWorld. What is RimWorld? 15 days per season? And you do have the standard four seasons. We're playing the drink. He says... Um, whoops. I've been looking at this game for a while. Yeah, a lot of people in the RimWorld uh, community have... Or I would imagine have been looking at this one. I've noticed it because of friends. Um, hmm. What's some other stuff to talk about? I kind of want to turn this off. Uh, how do I turn off the show overlay of rooms? I just think that the game looks pleasing and beautiful, so I'm happy to set it off right here. Got nice weather effects. I wonder how weather affects my crops. Current growth phase growing. Okay. I mean, we've also had everybody sleeping in the rain outside. <laughs> I could add a roof over them. Soon I will. As soon as we finish off these defenses. Just give them a minute. Very good, very good. Um, 
one nice thing to have would be a planning tab. If we could plan it, then we could kind of make use of this time to plan while they're doing it. But I'm just going to kind of sketch it out on my own. What I plan on doing is kind of having like a long causeway right here that enemies come through. We just want to make it as unpleasant for them as possible. Um, and we'll probably have like one main gate here, but then we'll have two walls going out. And maybe we'll have another wall that more archers can stand in. Kind of like how in Kenshi you would have like a hallway at the front there. I don't know if this game is going to get really difficult. Um, but I'm just kind of preparing for that. I want to play as best I can right now. Why don't the colonists have faces? To make them less personal so that getting attached to them doesn't jeopardize organ harvesting operations. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. Settlers are becoming annoyed. So why are they... It seems like more of a progressive thing, whereas mood is just kind of random earlier. Okay. I don't know why they didn't get this before. Maybe they... Maybe I'm stupid. Um, okay, now we're actually going to have to give them bedrooms. Maybe that's going to be the next thing after we construct these basic defenses. Um, I want to give them bedrooms, but I don't really want to waste a ton of space. I think we should just make a series of huts right here that they can sleep in. Um, one thing that I've noticed is it's a little awkward to put some of the buildings together because the roofing, you need to think about your roofing before you go through it. Um, let's do, let's have like, this will be the farming side of things and then we'll have the huts over here. Bedrooms are usually good to be located around the periphery because they'll return to them only really at night. You don't need to have your bedrooms in very close. But I've noticed that things do well here as freestanding structures. Um, I don't really know if we're going to screw ourselves later, but I think I'm going to do 7x7. Seven seven. Is this 7? 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, okay, so that's 7. Um, we'll do it like this. And then that. And then we'll put maybe two space between houses. And we'll have the other ones face out like this. Three, four, three, four. Okay, so then this is seven. Seven, yep. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to do these as basic one floor places. And we'll have two between each one. Now, I don't know how the marriage dynamics work or if there, if that even exists in the game at all. If people, like, have relationships and sleep in beds together or anything like that. Um, doesn't seem too far-fetched, so I'm going to kind of prepare for that by making these rooms fairly large. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that's four bedrooms. We've got four colonists right now. Let's just hold them to that. It looks like they're just about done with the exterior wall. And then we'll add in flooring, and we're actually going to add in some thatched roofs here. Yes, the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going to thatch the roofs. Um... Okay, great. Now, you could do the roofs in uh, either direction, really. So we could make them... Why is this not rotating? Mm, that's strange. I thought I knew how to rotate the roof. Maybe I don't. But maybe I'm a fool. Did somebody say Ragnorium? Ooh, wait, Ragnorium? Very similar, yes. Very similar to Ragnorium. If I'm making the... Though I have not played that. If I'm making the walls walkable, I should probably add more access points so they don't have to run all the way around to get up the wall. Yes, that is true. Um, for right now, they can construct the floor from the ground. Uh, we will do that in time. Let's get... Why can't I... I keep hitting R to rotate. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just stupid. Alright, well, we'll do it like that. That's fine. I didn't want to be forced into one orientation, but I did want to show you that I could, um... Oh, R and F to rotate. Oh, so for some reason, R, F isn't working. It's weird. Alright, well, let's just do it like this. We'll do it for the last one here because that's sensible. All right, so we're going to construct these structures over here. Now, unfortunately, again, we can't just de we can't just move the beds as far as I can tell. So we'll just have to construct new beds once we get in there. Uh, let's see. Tall grass. We're going to harvest this because we use it to make beds. Uh, settlers are exhausted. They're not getting enough sleep. Probably because they're working all day because they're slobs. All right, is anyone annoyed enough to leave my colony, though? As far as I can tell, nobody's annoyed enough to leave the colony. Okay, but they keep getting this thing where they see dead bodies and nobody's doing anything about these dead bodies, so clearly we still need to be creating a stockpile somewhere else where they won't see them. I'm going to put them behind this wall. All right. Um, clear all, and let's just do this one as... 
Uh, where is carcass? Human carcasses. Okay, so then we'll forbid human carcasses from our main room stockpile. Um, there are a couple of other controls I could hit here. So, like, there's one... What is it? Toggle... Hide roof elements in order to see inside. Oh, it's because I don't have the... Th there is a nicer way to control it, but... It's still not that bad. Um, we aren't going to allow humans in there. Do we have enough food to continue? Or are we all gonna die? Oh, great, no, they've got a harvest. Okay, good. Reasonable harvest times, it's like four days or so. It's not that realistic. The door on one side of the house is giving me anxiety. Which side? Oh, this one over here. Well, that's because I'm going to put other houses over here as we get more settlers. I'm planning on having it be these other two sides. Yes, I don't have a very good natural sense of architecture, though, unfortunately. But, you know, it's it's an imperfection that it that makes everything perfect. Oh, wait, can we do pyres? I actually have not tried pyres at all. Yep, that is a good idea. All right, let's put pyres nearby the front because they're probably going to... I wish I had known that before. Well, that is quite embarrassing. Um, they'll see them for a little while, but then they'll probably just burn the dead bodies. I'm questioning whether is this going to spread disease or anything putting it here. Let's just put the pyre there. The, yeah, pyre there. Pyre belongs there. 3D Rimworld, eh? Oh yeah, 3D Rimworld, eh? Hey, Air Force, how are you? Hey, thanks for the uh, thanks for the reset, my friend. That's four months. God bless. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, I put again. I put that there just because I figure a lot of people will kind of see this as a uh, as a 3D Rimworld. Based on what I've done in the past, so I'm just kind of anticipating it. I hope you'll allow it. There is a weird-looking cat when I submit feedback. <laughs> no, there's not. Maybe is there? I didn't actually submit any feedback. I think Subnautica did that, though. Yeah, I liked how they uh, how they did that with Subnautica. How they would actually like very publicly let par players submit feedback. I remember the, that was in the first one, or yeah, that was in the first one, right? But then they also did that with uh, Subnautica Cold Edition, right? My favorite review for Subnautica is just says "fish but cold." <laughs> I don't know why they put this in there, but it was a fantastic review. Um, okay, let's copy this now, and we're going to go down a floor. We're going to. Toggle roof visibility. See, this is a very nice way to see the buildings. That way you could kind of... You know, it looks nice, but you still get to see the building. Why is my R key not... I think it's something up with my keyboard. My keyboard was behaving funny yesterday, too. It's all right. Um, okay, we're also going to need to give them some floor, because I assume that they like the floor, because it's not dirt. People don't like natural things, because they're ignorant. I don't mean any of that. All right, let's uh, go over here. Good, good. Okay, now we're talking. Now, we need a lot of wood. I'm really surprised by the amount of wood that we need, but we're creating quite a substantial structure, so that does cause kind of a slow start, but, you know, we've created something substantial here. Something that you could write home to mom and dad about. Let's see if our stockpile is giving us, a, us, an, a, us enough space for all of this. Mm, I think we're okay. How are our food reserves doing? Uh, it says that they're low. Six bacon. Well, I mean, the other thing is that we just haven't hauled a lot of this stuff back to stockpiles. It's not deteriorating so fast that I'm worried, but it is somewhat fast. I'm wondering if we should just repurpose someone to hauling. I think once they finish all the construction projects, they'll be fine, though. Let's just give them some time. And, uh, you know what? Since we can't move these beds, we're just going to deconstruct them. You'll work or you won't sleep on anything. Maybe some of them will get banished. And we'll at least get to see what that process looks like. My goal isn't to play well, it's to play... Ooh, they're becoming annoyed. No, they're not becoming annoyed. I rebound... Oh, did I... Oh, you're right, I did rebind R. I rebound R to the... Ah, thank you for saying that, booties, McGee. Uh, let me debind R. Yep, I forgot about that. All right, well, key bindings is 
key bindings, and it's partly because they need to do all of this with the view rotation where Q and E can be used to rotate the view. Personally, I, I use the mouse for all of that, but yeah, that's... C controls are pretty good where they're at, though. Thank you for saying that. Ooh. Do I know if there is to be a sandbox mode for this, just for building? I think that would be really neat, because I think that this game does have a pretty unique building system, and I think it would be, uh... It just seems like it would be an easy win. Or like a god mode or a dev mode or something like that. Dwight Curring bot and his skill is still... Now, the one thing I haven't really noticed as far as, like, responsiveness is... It seems like they spend a lot of time running back and forth between stuff. Um... And I sometimes feel like... Maybe I'm just not really observing it closely enough, but how, to what extent do the skills affect... Ooh, look, a young, a fresh young tree. I didn't even grow this. But I think that's a tree just growing in the wild on its own. That is somewhat beautiful. You know, we haven't even looked into some things like mining. I've not even touched this, but we're probably going to end up mining this out. There's still so much more to be explored. Okay, good. One day of great annoyance where they're sleeping on the floor... And then after that, we'll have everything else fixed. <laughs> because, yeah, I might lose a columnist. You're happy enough. But see, the funny thing here is that it doesn't really tell you how or what is negatively affecting this guy. Clearly, this guy is not too happy to, too particularly happy to be here. It seems to me as if mood is kind of like a longer-term relationship with your colonist. You know, whereas in RimWorld, colonists are very, like, kind of quick to change their minds in terms of mood. In this game, it seems more reasonable in that, like, you know, if you have a bad day one day, your life isn't over, but you might think about leaving the longer you go. I'm running away from home. Okay, one useful thing that I just saw is that these guys just walk diagonally over the stick traps, and nobody's triggered these... Oh, she just walked right over that stick trap. <laughs> I mean, I guess that they're safe from them. I guess. I haven't really seen anything else yet. Are you... Desperately thirsty. There is water in the game? This is a little bit troubling. <laughs> Again, <laughs> we're going to confront things like this. Uh, hang on a second. <laughs> There's water? Where's the water? It's raining, just stick out your tongue. You'll like it. Alright. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> whatever, whatever, uh, anybody notice anything about water? This game, get a, um, a FLL release, or is this another beta? I don't honestly know. Oh, thirsty for alcohol, you're right, thank you for saying that. Uh, yes, okay, uh, we have to learn how to brew alcohol fast. We're gonna have to read brewing. Okay, this is clearly going to be the next thing that we want to get. Ale, beer, and rough wine. Um, we're probably going to need some, like, what? Wheat? How do you brew beer again? We're gonna have to learn that! Alright, and let's also set somebody else off to researching. It looks, uh, looks like Dwight is doing it on his own, anyway. Okay. Oh, we had a lot of urgent tasks. Things like eating. You'll get some water out of the cabbages. It has water content in it. Don't worry, you'll be fine. These guys might die. Okay, now I'm getting a little concerned. Mood, no, food, not hungry. But it's all, I think that's also just something that, yeah, that's also just something that affects their mood. So their mood is just going to slowly go down because they aren't happy with the amount of alcohol. I thought that I had everything together because in RimWorld, you know, if they go to sleep the first couple days and nobody has a mood break, you're fine. But in this, it appears as if it is more of a long-term relationship with your colonists. To be completely honest with you, though, I like that. All right, so then without any further ado, let's have them finish off all of these bedrooms. Good, good, good. They do construct quickly, though. I like that. It's nice. Yes, the misconception... I imagine that people will look back at this video many years from now, not notice that it's the release kind of... or, like, early access thing, and go, Nyah, ha ha Amphibian, you fool. You are a dunderhead. And I will be like, Nyah, ha ha Watch the newer videos, please. <laughs> I like this. I, oh, yeah. Gather that. A good number of animations, though. I did notice some people just kind of, like, T-posing intimidatingly, you know, as they walked about their day. But, um... Oh, Dwight Currington. <laughs> How your botany skills grow. 
How are they? How are they doing on the inside? You know, maybe we can wait on the floors. Can, should we? Do we need to? Oh no, they're they're just about there with the floors. All right, you know, finish it off. At least you'll have a pleasant bedroom. But then I'll get you the alcohol you need. But that's kind of true, though. You know, like I like that because when you think of colonists in these survival games, you don't want a bunch of people who are bipolar all the time and like kind of going off the deep end. Like, yeah, they get it. Like, they had to settle down. It would lead to a few days of work. Nobody would snap. But then by the time now we've hit like a week in. And my colonists are probably eager to get some alcohol or something like that. They want to relax and have a good time, you know? Yeah, look at Bay Hilt, just scurrying over there into the distance. Okay, Ordric still doesn't have a bed because we don't have him a room. But are you happy now? You have a house. You aren't sleeping outside. And you're not as much of a slob. Ordric is actually in a good mood, probably because he came into the colony later. Consumed- Wait, whoa! 10 out of 10. Do we, are we seeing, are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> so it is there. Okay, now, no, Rimworld clone, Rimworld clone. Now I'm going to go off. <laughs> oh, God. Each tasty morsel of this forbidden Eucharist helps me transcend mortality. <laughs> what is wrong, what is wrong with, what? What is wrong with this game? Can we get other sins besides cannibalism? <laughs> I want to have someone who's like, uh, you know. I guess it's the only one that's just crazy enough that you can't take it. To okay, lacking in entertainment, hungry, deprived of religious activities. But I gave you shrines! Temples and chapels, hungry. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, now we've got to get to constructing some other garbage. Maybe I should have given them one barracks. That might have been a better use of the time. But it's fine, it's fine. We're getting closer now to uh, to self-actualization. Fortunately, that we know that one of our colonists... I'm surprised because this guy is a botanist. This guy really is Hannibal Lecter. Someone appeared like a warm blessing, coaxing the settlers to shed their warm clothing. Ooh. And it was now the time to build underground storage to keep food... Ooh, this is a nice in-game tip that I wish I had seen previously. Underground storage. What a novel idea. Game. You are a sentient game with many a good idea. Held up floors and ceilings of England for centuries. Assuming we're in England. All right. Um, okay, let's build them a shrine. Uh, what do we need? Because religious activities are important. You know, people love to worship Jesus. Um, let's see. Colored overlay. Rooms detected. Uh, let's see. Oak Brethren Temple. Okay. And who could forget about the Oak Brethren? Uh... Broke brethren stone, two time oak brethren wall decorations. It seems as if we need a lot of further research to do this, so I'm gonna hold off on this until we have completed more writing and research. Um, are we able to do this yet? You know what? Maybe we won't have time for religious worship because we're just going to be brewing alcohol. That's also cool. Um, where are my colonists and what are they doing? Who are you people? Okay, great. They're getting the last of the wood here. We'll give them a little bit of time to just kind of go about their days. We might have overplanted at the beginning. So I'm glad that I went with the 4x4s and not the 5x5s. Five now, Dwight here is just really a wacky dude. Look at him. He's trying to make it... Clearly, this guy is trying to make it look like he's working more. <laughs> We've got 29 of these. And how many more do we need for? Available two. Allocated 30. So we've got to get, like, another 13 of those. This is probably going to take them a couple of days. Is anyone in such a bad mood that they're going to leave? You're on the way up. You're on the way down, but you have a lot of mood. You're on the way down. Okay, these two will go away. So, yes. I'm, ooh. But you ate people. You love people. Left on the ground, lacking in entertainment. Fortunately, though, it doesn't upset the other people that he's eating people. Uh, I object to that in your mold. You know, you do you. If this guy is, um not choosing not to follow the Geneva Convention. You know, that's him. Um, no, doesn't have to ruin my day. And other terrible things to say. Just worship Dionysius. Yeah, that would be good. Why the roof on the last time? Is it on the wrong angle? Oh, but that is the correct angle. I liked it that way. I wanted it to be as such because I wanted it to be unique. 
This room is a black sheep, and it stands on its own. To demonstrate the differences in the game, I suppose. They have RimWorld-style mood breaks in this as well as desertion. I haven't seen any um, RimWorld-style mood breaks. I don't know if that would be something that they would later implement, if at all. Um, but yeah, desertion is a thing. So we're trying to prevent that. But no, they won't like throw a temper tantrum, as far as I can tell. Sometimes, though, I realize that that's what makes RimWorld uh, satisfying to overcome, is that you won't have colonists on mood break. Seems like a, a light thing to implement later. Um, all right, we're just going to give them some time to finish this off. Then I think we'll do brewing, and then we'll talk more about, you know, um, them worshipping whatever they do. Hey, Retrosource TV, hey, thank you very much for the sub, my friend. I appreciate that. It's medieval. There is no Geneva Convention. Well, then we'll just say going medieval on your ass. That's true. Marcellus Wallace, you know, and all that. I, though I do sometimes question what makes the colonists think that they would do better if they left this colony. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to have it any better anywhere else, pal. Um, all right, seeing as my colonists have like kind of danced over the spike traps, I'm not too worried about these. But we, we really don't want them to get carried away with any more wood. I'm just going to leave the colony where it's at for a little while. It might not be as satisfying to watch, um, but they've got to get some more work done. And then let's start to think about brewing. So what do I anticipate I'm going to need for brewing? We've got hay, linen cloth, leather, um, simple healing kit. And we should also look into some kind of research production room. Um, is that a thing? Restitution chapel. Like maybe am I getting a penalty from being outside? This doesn't appear, workshop doesn't appear to be the research room. Maybe it's like a library. Basic research table, research table, or advanced research table. At least two times wall bookshelf. Special stillness gathers in this room among the bookshelves, laden with leather-bound tomes. It's good writing. The only sound is the scratching of quill on vellum as scholars read it. This is actually, the, the writing for this game is very nice, I gotta say. Any other workstations, shrines, or beds. Um, which is notable, and this is to say nothing about people who don't speak English as a native language, but that I often find that game devs are from other countries because we don't have enough good ideas in the United States. Um, but clearly this was written by somebody who has like a very, a very nice, uh, a very good knowledge of medieval lore. I would never think of a lot of these. And it's kind of incorporated the local color and vocabulary very nicely. Um, bravo, going medieval. Not sponsored again. I just like this game. Um, okay, let's go wooden wall. Uh, now, is there a size requirement for this room? Let's see, library. Uh, I'm not seeing anything on the size, so we'll just make it a kind of a reasonable size. I'm going to put our library... We'll give our houses a little bit of space to expand. We want to do another 7x7 seven seven in here somewhere. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we'll want to make two spaces for that. Okay, so then we'll do a library... Right here, and let's kind of make this behind everything else. I gotta say, although my constructions aren't the most exciting, they make sense. We'll get into, like, beauty, beautiful geometry later on. Um, let's get it. You can also do windows. I haven't seen the point of windows yet, so I just haven't built any. There we go. Okay, we built these double doors right. And let's build a thatched roof over here. How do I want this one to look? Can it be that large? You know, I, li I like it when they're kind of consistent here. So we'll, we'll make it like that. I know that that means that the rain flows off the front over the doors. In fact, I'm wondering what... Is there a prescribed way from architects? Like, should you build it like this, or should it be the other way? See what I'm saying? Oh, well, I'll just leave that to wonder about. All right, we'll get, we're going to make this library. Okay, we got another person. Um, If any of our other colonists leave, this will give us a chance to kind of... Uh, redeem ourselves. He was found faint and bleeding by a citizen of Florida <laughs> from the axe and shattered lo sorry, I can't stop laughing. Redman had clearly experienced a woodcutting mishap. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, what kind of person is he? Uh, I wish I could scroll over these perks. I can't actually, this would be a nice thing if it locked in, kind of like in Crusader Kings 3. Okay, this guy is very good intellectual, so he will be our researcher. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take him. He's also... He could be good at botany. 
He's going to be like a short-term investment as a librarian. Um, okay, so he's wounded out here. I haven't seen any body system in this game. RimWorld also has that. So I wonder if that's something that we haven't seen. Because clearly there's a lot of stuff going on right here. Um, I don't know if they actually have functional body parts, though, and damage to each of them. Like, you know, in RimWorld, how somebody could lose an eye. Swigger. It's thirsty work. Red one likes to drink on the job, and it makes him work faster. Okay, that seems like a good thing. Once the soul is fled. Okay, so he's callous. So he probably doesn't have good relationships with the other colonists. All right, um, I assume I'm going to have to draft somebody else. Let's just kind of see. Yoo-hoo! Brunhilde! I mean, Diana Dodd. Diana Dodd sounds like somebody I know. Already assigned to another seller, Ordric. Okay, so Ordric, what are you doing? Uh, carrying wounded to a bed. Okay, very good. Um, you know, I suppose I'm going to open up a couple of more bedrooms here. Or we'll just have him sleep with somebody else, because I don't want to, you know, dilly-dally too long with that. All right, there we go. Um, you know what? Actually, with the R and the F as the rotation keys, I take back what I said before about Q and E. That is, that works. It's pretty nice. Um, okay, this tree looks disgusting now. We're just going to cut this down. Bad looking tree. Mm. Ah, that's very nice. It tells me how much of each resource I could get from the trees as they are grown right now. So I could cut down a young tree. That's nice to see. But I'd get 50 from this one. I wonder if there's like some... That's quite a lot. I don't know if you ever actually get that in the UI of RimWorld, but that's very nice. Oh, so I should have been more selective about the trees before to see what was growing. Like this one doesn't really look that big, but it is 50. What about this one? This one looks huge. 50, okay, whatever. All right, did that guy die or is he okay? Redwin. All right, um, entertainment needs fulfilled. Very good. He just... Now, what was the woodcutting accident? I'm kind of curious. Deep arm laceration. Okay, so we do have some sort of, like, body... Uh, body system. No axe exceptions. <laughs> Clearly axe spendable. All right, cool with the axe puns now, guys. <laughs> you can totally have a hard time getting used to RimWorld controls after this. Yeah, I mean, well, what I'm happy about is that I'm enough invested in the game that I think it would be worth it to try out a new system. People have been looking for a new colony game for years. And that's not to say, um, you know, that I'm not into RimWorld, but just that, you know, so no, everybody needs some variety. Um, it's cool, and I'm excited to see a big new colony soon coming out. Can buildings be caught on fire? I'm not sure if campfires near buildings is a good idea. We currently have a campfire in a building. Uh, it has not yet caught fire. <laughs> um, yeah. I think, uh, ideally we'll get a stove. This probably isn't very safe. But I haven't really seen fires spread. Well, that's the main reason I've put two tiles between each of our, uh, buildings. In the hopes that that won't be the fire spread radius. Alright, so Ordric is up here. He's continuing his research. But I think we're going to reassign Redwin on car, um, intellectual stuff. Yeah, because currently Dwight, who is... No one is very good at intellectual. Okay, so that's why... Wait a minute. Diana Dodd was pretty good at intellectual. Slob. Alright, uh... Let's just build another copy of this. And I want to do one seat through that. Alright, whatever. Put it, like, somewhat centrally located. Okay, great. So they'll finish that off, um, and let's actually deconstruct this. Maybe they can use some of the resources from over there. Um, and I also just don't want Chronicles to be stored outdoors. That seems like a waste. Okay, and how much did they get from that? 36 wood. That's good. They can repurpose that for other projects. Finish off this library. And then did we finish this? Okay, great. So we've got another research. Oh, they saw it. That's all right. Okay, let's get our management and our schedule up so that our colonists can focus more on their best tasks. So Redwin is going to be our... I know it's not his main passion, but we want him to be our main researcher. Um... Eventually, once we get somebody who's passionate about... Wait a minute. Oh, no, I... I take back what I said. Dwight, you will be the researcher because you have a passion for it. A slight passion for it, and we'll put everybody else on these things. Okay. So Dwight is going to be our permanent researcher. Although he's not the best right now, he'll get good in time. Okay, is anybody going to leave the colony? A 
Oops. Uh, wrong tab. Ooh, this guy ain't too happy. Desperately thirsty, ugly apparel. Okay, yeah. Apparel will be something else we have to get into. Do I know how many pawns I can reasonably have in this game? I don't. It seems like it would be a lot, though. It seems like it would be a lot. Can you see inside houses, like in Kenshi? Absolutely. Yeah. So we could do it like this. Or we could do this. We could, um... Oops. We do that, and then we could go like this. I think I'd like to be able to rotate the camera up a little bit more, just as somebody who makes videos. I'd like to be able to catch different angles of things like that. But yeah, you could totally do this. Settler wounds need tending. Oh, wait a minute. Redwin. Wait, why didn't anyone help you? How do I get him in bed? I don't know about this one, actually. Ooh, deep arm laceration. Who is our doctor? Who is our main doctor? All right, let's go find some. Let's go find him a doctor. I'm about to lose my mind. You've been gone for so long. Nah. That's uh, you know. Th actually, this would be a good test of the game. Like, let's see if we can really mess this up. One moods need tending. Maybe he just got some kind of infection. Why are, you, why are you getting right out of bed? No, come on, man. You can, I'm going to give you some work. Leave. Don't forget about it. Now, this is what I'm... Uh, I'm not seeing where the lion bed function is because RimWorld does have this where you can... Oh, that's convalesce, isn't it? Wait a minute. Oh, so then we want one everybody to be on a convalesce level two or one the way I've got things mapped out. Okay, so I see what I did wrong. Just because I didn't know what the word convalesce meant. Convalesce while wounds heal. God damn it. I really thought that convalesce meant something different. <laughs> now my own stupidity is getting in my way. Um, okay. Somebody tend his wounds. S send out the cannibal to tend his wounds. That sounds like a great idea. The music is subtle, but it is supposedly... Uh, I read that it comes in and out of the game as you play it. So I don't find it invasive. I haven't been distracted by it. Um... It has, uh, it has character. It is medieval. Rimwald, but you're forever Amish. Yeah, something like that. Though they aren't afraid to research a little bit more technology. You can get stone walls. Um, right now, I'll say that uh, this. My place looks pretty bland. Um, I'm looking forward to, like, seeing, you know, more... More architectural variation around our base. Uh, we've got forever on that. Okay, and we've seemed to have fixed up the healing system. So now Redwin or whoever it is, Dwight. Dwight can be forever our researcher. So let's go take another look at that. Looks like we've got 10 now, so we're only 5 away. Usually it doesn't take that long, but we've just had so many other tasks to do. And now we can finish this up, get brewing, and then get everyone happy. Um, I've noticed a remarkably low number of attacks. But now this is kind of nice. Look, our colonists get up and they eat and they go and do their jobs for the day. We're a little bit more specialized. Dwight is quickly producing research. Um, we might even put... Let's just see what he does. Does he automatically drop it on the floor? As far as I've seen, I think that they automatically drop everything on the floor as far as research goes. Ordric. Now, why is Ordric doing research? Everybody else is kind of praying. All right, I guess because Dwight wasn't on it. Get out of Dwight's way, everyone. Hang on a second. I think I'm going to take other people off of research altogether. Dwight, you get that as a two. In fact, I'm going to do convalesce one and that one. Um, get away from the research table, slobs. Okay, good. So we've got five levels of priority. That's nice. Um, Redwin can have it as a four. But it looks like that there just aren't that many other jobs for them to do right now. And yes, I've got Settler's Idol. Okay, I think we've won the early game here. Um, let's start to think about what are our other needs. Does anybody have any suggestions? And I'll throw them in. Mm, who is the cannibal? Oh, we ah uh, yes. So we might want to repurpose some of our production needs for cannibalism. But I think you might just eat it raw. Does the amount of light influence research speed like in RimWorld? Maybe put a couple of wind... Ah, that would make sense. You're right. Hmm, can we see any of that information? Inside spare room. Okay, production speed plus one ten percent. But if I hover over that, I'm not really getting any information on it. 
Reserved by Dwight, structure dimensions is connected to a table true, produced chronicle. So I'm not really getting any, any information on light right here. Let's do like a, a test to see if that does work. That's a good point. Put out some windows. We'll put them going out to the main section right here. Let's do like two right there and there. Or, uh, did that? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Did that get constructed? We have a stability rating. Still have all of that to check out too. Can we put this like, can we just replace this wall here? Why is this not happening? Come on. All right, um, I'm just gonna let that happen for a little while. Obviously we're going to, I had thought I had an alarm going off. All right, um, let's collect more wood because clearly we need a lot of wood. We'll just go for the biggest trees here. Again, like in Rimworld. Um, 50 here, 50 here, 50 here. Okay, that's nice. So they get right to work, and we can use that for more stuff. I think we are good on research now. Okay, so now we can get brewing. This seems to be a big point of contention for them. Um, I unlocked an achievement. Onward. Okay, so I got more... Um, the, the game is coming in pretty fast with the achievements, so I'm wondering how much is done so far. All right, brewing station. Equipped with a copper, copper cauldron for brewing ale. Um, now, is this some type of room? Let's start to work on more specialized rooms as we go here. Like, is a brewery a room? Kitchen. So it's clearly not the kitchen. Um, Blacksmith's Forge. Okay, so it's not a workshop either, but do we have a brewery? And it does sense these as bedrooms, so that's good. We don't have to do too much there. I'm not seeing brewery right off the bat, so I think a brewery is probably just can go anywhere. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, so then let's just put the brewery like on the roof. I'm just putting random stuff on the roof for now. Uh, yeah, my settlers are idle, so this is a good thing for them to be doing. Let's get that. <laughs> what are you doing? Just brewing some beers on the roof, you know. That sounds like something that people will actually do in my town. <laughs> Back away from the holy research table, knaves. Yeah, I think my colonists just need more tasks now to do. Um, fortunately, we don't have that low on food message anymore. We've got tons of carrots and stews. Um, but it also had recommended that we create an underground storage area so i figure let's start to examine more of this part of the game too i've not looked at this at all um what we could do is to kind of build out this room but i kind of wanted to be directly underneath like look at this this place is awful um and we also want it to be somewhat near to the kitchen too because if we have that what i'm thinking is we could like have the farms here then they go they take them underground and then maybe, like, over here, we have a kitchen or something like that. Um, so let's do... What do we want to build first? Um, let's try to think here. Well, we don't have the kitchen research, so we might as well just wait on that. We'll do two things at once. Let's mine out some underground. I'm not going to say that I'm going to be good at this system, but I'm just going to give it a try. Um, and I'm going to see if I can get this underneath, like, underground. Let's try that. Let's give it a shot to start. I'm probably going to mess this up. But we'll try to put a stairway underground there. And, yeah, we're probably going to fail it. But that's okay, too. Um, and I'll probably move these tree orchards outside or something like that. Okay, these trees are growing. The classic Age of Empires storage pit. Is that a thing? It's been a while since I played um, Age of Empires. Yeah, rain beer. <laughs> fermented water. Fermented rain water for this beer. Um... Ivy shrub. We could get sticks from these. I'm just wondering about the other, like, flora outside. We've got a flora outside. More ivy shrubs. Some of them are dead. I'm wondering what causes plants to die like this. Gr current growth phrase mature. Like, do you need to harvest them before they get over matured and then they die? Um, I don't really know yet. So, that's worth exploring. Okay, this was very quick. Wow, that you just... Bay Hill just got that entire thing mined. Wowzers. You really, are you looking for a promotion or something, Bay Hill? All right, so this is where we're going to start to scroll back and forth between Z levels. They've gone underground a bit, so let's uh, just kind of see. Okay, so it's just showing like grass or whatever is underground right here. Yeah, that is grass. I assume if we go down far enough, we'll start to encounter like stone. 
Okay, so let's uh, let's see. I imagine I, there's probably other types of stairs, but let's start with this wooden straight stair. Let's just try that. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to need to go down two floors, but could we put a door in just like there if we wanted to? We could do that, apparently. Okay, let's try... Um, Well, we don't want to expose this top part of the ground, so let's go down even one more layer. Maybe I'm not doing this right, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. We're going to mine out, like, here so that we could build it. See what I'm getting at right here? So we could build, like, two stairways. And then this way, they could have the storage down two floors so that they don't... Unless if... Wait a minute. Could we put wooden floors right here? Could we do that? Whoa, whoa, whoa wait a minute. Well, maybe we could do that. Eh, whatever. We'll just do it my way right now. It involves less thinking. Hello, Eyes and Salt. Welcome in. Kills plants pretty effectively. Oh, wait, what do we do? Be oh, being a shitty gardener. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we don't have very good gardeners yet. Hmm. Well, no one has left so far either. So, I mean, I figure we're doing something right. I wonder if there's something that could get them very upset, though. Like, someone... his They cut his head off! Ugly apparel. So does mind if their apparel is of poor quality. How much uh, research do we have? Because we could start to get our own clothing. Tailoring, yeah. We need 20 and we have 11, but we do have a dedicated researcher now. Not enough resources. That's a weird reason to put that out. Now that sound makes me uncomfortable. Extremely uncomfortable. Now what happens if I just trap one of you down there? Like, can you get... <laughs> I'm wondering... <laughs> I'm wondering how this will work. I think Dwight might trap himself down there. So let's see how this scenario plays. This. <gasps> oh, Dwight, no. You will not be made to a fool, love. All right, that's weird. I guess they could just climb out of a pit, but all right, whatever. I'm um, not going to question it. Here to play the game. Not question it. Uh, let's see. Wooden stair. All right, let's see if this garbage works, because that's how I personally would do it. Um, and then once we get down there, we'll, we'll put our storage underground. I don't know why. Um, is there a way to figure out what the temperature is? Can I change this to Fahrenheit? Sorry. Really American question right here. <laughs> um, I want it in Fahrenheit, so I know what it is. I have a vague idea of Celsius, but I just don't think of it like that as much. Game. Oh, they do have... Fa they have Kelvin, too. Okay, this game is bound for great things. Yep, and you could also increase the autosave engine. Oh, very good. Oh, and you could change the... Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I wanted a smaller heads-up display. Okay, that's good. Wow, finding a lot of things that I like here already. All right, well, we're going to put a room underground. Yes, I'm sorry if you're not from the United States. I just really like Fahrenheit. I like things to be familiar to me. I don't like to learn new things. Apologies in advance. Um, yeah, Z-Levels makes this really fun. Okay, so let's go deeper into the earth and start creating more of my bullshit creations. <laughs> I think it's funny to just see them in a disembodied way when you're at a, di a different uh, Z level. Ooh, that's kind of nice. So we could see into the other pits. So obviously there's various Z levels throughout the map. Think of it kind of like looking through a cross section of Minecraft or something like that. Would be nice to get a wildlife tab too. I wonder how many... It seems as if you can go down many, many deep uh, Z levels. Okay, Ordric is working on this. And as soon as he finishes this, we're going to see if we can mine out more of that down there. Let's just go ahead and mine a lot. Um, I'm going to create some rooms in here. And it seems like you could create an entire underground fortress. Like, there's a lot of options in this. Um, I don't think we're going to need to defend a lot, so I might even widen this out to two. Let's make that an option later on. Oh, wait a minute. I think I'm going down even yet one more level when I do that. It's a little tricky to designate those floors. Okay, so I'm going to need to go up a Z level, and then we start to mine this out. Is that... Yeah, it all appears to be on the same Z level. All right, that's a little bit tricky, but I got it. Um, I imagine there's going to be, like, double doors here or something. And then maybe we could have, like, one main room down here. So it'll probably be, like, a doorway right here. So let's make this a nice size. Make this, like, a 6 by 6 and then how deeper... Okay, so we're right about under where I picture having a kitchen. 
Ah, uh, that's kind of nice. They all get to work digging. And who are you? Why isn't Dwight doing the research? Diana. You son of a bitch. God damn it. All right, clearly I need to work a little bit more on the uh, priorities. What are we at? 67.1 Fahrenheit. That's a pretty decent temperature. Like what it is outside by me right now. It's comfortable weather. Not really Florida weather yet. Like maybe, you know, kind of uh, winter, spring in Florida. But that was, that's what the colony is. It is Florida. All right, so we're creating these piles of clay. We're going to just kind of have an ass load of clay that we have no idea what to do with. But let's just see if it is determined by where my mouse is. I want you guys to watch where my mouse cursor is and just this number up here in the upper right um, for the temperature. 61 over there, but it keeps changing wherever I put my cursor. So I think that this is very much like RimWorld. Are we getting... Yeah, we are getting different temperatures inside. So it's colder inside right now. Don't really know why, what we've done to encapsulate that cold. Um, again, there are fires that you can have up in buildings. So we have a campfire in here. Let's take a look at this. I'm assuming that if I start to go way down... We're farther from the ground temperature, and I could probably keep it cool here. But it's probably also at risk of getting very, very hot. Um. Hmm. 100 degrees still. Uh, yeah, so right now we're comfortably, comfortably above freezing. So uh, that's not really an issue. But I, I mean, I'm going to learn about medieval insulation as I go through this game. Which is kind of neat, actually. Let's put in some double doors here. I imagine I'm going to turn this into a double staircase. Um, and what I might even want to do is build like a hut over this or some small structure just to insulate that even more. I probably will want this fridge to be completely insulated season by season and just make sure that it's always cold. Um, again, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I might be doing this wrong. <laughs> Research available. Okay. Um, furniture. What would that unlock? Wooden hay bed. That would probably make our colonists a little bit happier. Um... But I think I want the clothing more. Clay brick making. I don't know what looks good. We have a lot of clay. What do, what do we have a lot of that we could use? We have a lot of hay. We have a lot of sticks. <laughs> Not really particularly like high valued items. <laughs> do we get spiders in the undercaves? I don't know, but I hope that they add in more like wildlife and stuff. Or I've got only one raid so far. I've got one raid and one event. Um, right now I'm, I'm feeling like the game is a little bit easy, which I like difficult games, so I hope that they up the difficulty. Um, but I'm also playing on a normal difficulty and I could make this much harder, which I imagine a lot of people will not hesitate to do. Still just kind of learning though. I wish I were getting attacked a little bit more though, um, even on this difficulty. But it's also coming from somebody who plays games for a living, which is just kind of a self-criticism. Um, get a real job, Rob. Get a real job. All right, let's, uh, no, I won't. I will keep doing this <laughs> because it's awesome. All right, uh, let's finish up this cave. We've got 31. Okay, this is actually great. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't understand why it's only 31.2 degrees Fahrenheit inside. Is this like a principle of Earth? Because look, right out here, it's 75.3 degrees. Is it, I mean, I assume it's partly because it's in the shade. But also, how is the air getting out? Hmm. I don't really know. Thoughts on the combat mechanics? Right now, to me, I haven't really got to the point where I can see the depth that this game has. It's a little simple, um, but that's also partly because we don't have assault rifles, and I tend to think everything like that is simplistic. I just haven't really seen enough to develop a full opinion yet. Early game seems very simple, but I imagine it's going to get more strategizing, strategy and complex. Strategy and complexity will be added, is what I meant to say. Settlers are idle. Okay, research are available. All right, let's do this. Um, we gotta pick something. I'm going with like furniture and tailoring are gonna make their lives a lot better. Um, but the furniture is probably the easier win right here, so I'm actually gonna go with furniture. Let's get them some real beds. Hmm, hay bed. Wooden hay bed. Okay, so I would be completely happy. I'm lying right now, but I would be happier sleeping in this bed. Why does it need to take up three hexes? That's kind of weird. All right, very well, though. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. 
You two are going to share a room and you're going to like it. Oops, uh, didn't mean to do that. Now, I don't know if they're really picky as to whether or not they have their own rooms. Let's go take a look more into those systems for now. Um, I, uh, who, who sleeps? Who goeth here? Why can't I click on this bed? A little awkward. I don't know why I can't click on this hay bed. Um, so far, I haven't seen anybody sleeping. Let's just wait till they go to sleep because two people are currently sharing a room. And I don't know if they hate sharing a room, but I, I gotta know. Um, ah, why are they forbidden from these? Some piles are just randomly forbidden. Okay, well, whatever. Um, are these ready? I'm just gonna keep letting these grow. Seems like a good investment to get some trees. Or plant some trees early on. Only because your colonists spend so much time moving about the map. Thor's hammer. Unexpected thunder roarst. Never heard that word before, roarst. I like it, though. Crashing through the bruised sky. A violent presence intruding like a bad omen. Health echoes of a brethren... Of a heathen god. Uh, fork lightning flickered and blazed towards the ground. Spitting a mighty oak. Splitting a mighty oak. What was the point of that event? All just to say that it is a thunderstorm. All right, well, that good. That gives me medieval flavor. Medieval people were... Oh, this looks like a particularly bad rain. Entertainment needs fulfilled. Uh, moderately tired, desperately thirsty. Okay, so we've got to get the... Oh, we forgot to do the Bruin. I totally forgot to do this. Do they have relationships and get married as in Rune World? I don't know yet. I haven't seen any yet. So I can't say that they do. Um... The ground gives suck. That's a great way to describe a thunderstorm. Yes, I'm going to use that. Um. Mm. How do we. Oh, god damn it! What the fuck? Now we know what lightning does. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Wow, that just destroyed the backgammon table. That was so cool. Whoa, that was neat. Hey. 10 out of 10. No, you know what? We were already at 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. I like that. Oh, that was kind of cool. So, I mean, I guess I could have just... We could have... I could have been smote from that, you know? That was actually a pretty cool visual effect, too. And, you know, like, I like it that this game is doing all these neat visual effects while still feeling like fairly simplistic at the same time that's a rare difficult combination to hit so that's nice um did they destroy the door i assume that they're just going to repair this stuff but it looks like that almost looked like physics right there i mean not physics but you know grid based physics like that was a pretty random pattern it wasn't just like one big hole in it you know well clearly it struck here but then I mean, the damage wasn't even even. That was that was neat, though. That was neat. Fortunately, it didn't destroy the brewing station. And now we know to not keep anything um, uh, above ground. <laughs> yep, don't do that. That would be a terrible idea. Um, wow, cool. Let's, uh, let's try to rebuild that and come back from that thunderstorm. Um, or rather, lightning. Clearly, God does not want us to play backgammon. Um... So let's just, like, secretly have backgammon in our rooms. This is going to be, like, some kind of Sodom and Gomorrah, um, but with backgammon, um, biblically thinking here. Um, fences. There are fences. I like them, but I don't really see the point of... Oh, I guess they're for livestock. Wow, livestock? I did not know that you could have livestock. All right, neat. Um, where are we going to put the backgammon now? All right, you know, they're going to play backgammon by the smelly vegetables. Yeah, they're going to like that. All right, well, rip my backgammon table. Okay. How is our base coming along as a whole? Doesn't really look much different because we've got so much underground. Um, I'm wondering about... Okay, yeah, brewing. We uh, I've been putting this off for a while. Are you? Are they repairing this... All right, we'll just see if they automatically repair that. Um, beer. We need barley. And ale, we need barley. But rough wine, we need only the red currants, which we have. 
Oh, I thought that we were eating those. Are we eating them? No, don't just produce it forever. Um, whoops, that would be a really bad idea. Um, <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Okay, we'll make 20 bottles of red wine because we have red currants. Fortunately, you don't need to plant a whole other crop. I was thinking we would take longer for that. Room created, shared bedroom. Oh, wait, so this is sensed by the game. Very neat. Okay, so they can tell that they have a shared bedroom. Um, let's look into sleeping spot assignment. I'm wondering if they'll reassign themselves to better beds as we go. Um, let's just dismantle one of these. Because, you know, I want to see if somebody does it. Redwin looked to be sharing... Oh, yeah, let me... So, oh, Redwin was sharing a broom? So let's go check out Redwin. Thank you, I was not paying attention to that. Um, do we have anything on him? Slept in shared quarters. Oh, he actually likes that. WTF. That is the opposite of RimWorld. I appreciate that they have a different take on that. Yeah, it's not like a barrack. Maybe, oh, maybe a barrack is too many. I I still would have yet to experiment with that. Yeah, maybe we would have made our colonists better off if we had given them shared bedrooms, but not barracks. That's a good point. There is a room bonus view. Did I see, did I not see a room bonus view? Oh, room bonus view. Wait a minute, like to see if, like there is a distinction clearly between a shared bedroom and a, oh wait, there's, a, oh what you mean a room bonus view, like to see what kinds of buffs it gives you for being in the room. Show item indicators, show overlay of rooms detected, hide treetops. Oh, where is this view? I'm not really detecting that. Hmm. I'm an idiot. This is going medieval. It's a hell of a game. I'm liking it more and more. I was expecting that I would exhaust the game of... Um, I, I was not expecting it to be this good. I am now underprepared. Um, I keep finding out about more and more stuff that I like about this game, but this is actually really exciting to me. Um, I might actually... I was thinking of just doing this on the VODs, but I might end up doing some content for the main channel with this. This is fantastic. Wowzers, hang on a second. I don't want to lose my game. I gotta save. Um, Florida... Question mark? No, I can't put question mark in the in the save. <laughs> oh well. Sorry, we've been living in Florida. All right. Okay, let's get some lights. I want to make this place a little bit more attractive to look at. So we've got furniture. We've got brazier. They're not. It's not pronounced braziers. Oh. Is it brazier? I forget how you say this word. I know it's a very common object. Shame on me for not saying that. Um. <laughs> Oops. Let's get some torches. Only because I think that they'll look kind of badass. Put them here. So that we have more like a... Uh, Ooga Shaka in this base, you know? It's streaming for two hours. It feels like this two hours and 27 minutes has flown by. Um, so the armor and weapon equipping system similar to... It is very similar to Emerald in the armor and... Uh, pretty much all the com... Uh, Brazier, thank you, thank you. forgot about that. Okay, settlers are exhausted. Now, I don't get why this is keeps happening. Redwin Yule, your settlers are exhausted. This means that they're not getting enough sleep. Make sure that every settler has enough sleep hours in their schedule. Let's give them a little bit more sleep because they seem to be pretty tired and they're constantly telling me that they're tired and w just people can afford to be lazy. You know, before lights, I think it was, people used to sleep about 10 hours a day on average. I read somewhere. I don't know if that's true, but I believe it. And I would miss it. <laughs> We've also got to replace these giant ass uh, walls with columns. <laughs> yes, braziers don't burn for nearly as long as as braziers. Why did I say brazier? I was like, something sounds wrong. Something sounds off about that. Um, there, I have a couple little minor, minor complaints about some of the things in the building system. And again, I've I've made criticisms that I have instantly rectified here, so I'm going to feel stupid. The one thing is that I didn't see that fences had a corner piece. Like, you would have to place them like, duh, and, you know, duh. But you can't really have them meet perfectly in a corner. I don't know if this is something that's been patched or it will be patched. It seems like a pretty simple thing. That would just be one little thing. But a lot of the other stuff seems like very... It's pleasing. Themes, things seem to be coming together well. 
All right, settlers are becoming annoyed at what? Okay, um, my cannibal is pretty upset. Mainly because of the ugly apparel and the desperately thirsty. Let's just get this brewing going. Smash. Oh, so this doesn't actually have to have somebody... Yesterday I was watching your first PZ videos. Oh. Now you're over 300k on. Oh, handsome. YouTube. Great work, handsome. Oh, handsome. Hey, thank you, Poop. Poop. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And thank you for the $3. I like your inappropriate name. Your fecal name. Our fall injury is a thing. Don't let the Feridians fall. I'm assuming one of my guys could have gotten hit by lightning and instantly killed. That would have been pretty bad. That would have been pretty bad, not going to lie. But th clearly they've got a, a great harvest going on right now. Let's um spring for an opportunity right here. Okay, now clearly Take under... Prime. Oh, what is this? Oh, Fallen Shogun! Hey, how are you, brother? Oh, God, you're gonna like this one. I don't know if you got in the ambassador for this one, but this game is up your alley, I feel like. God bless, my friend. I want to talk to you soon. Four months, Jesus Christ. We've been we've been to we've been together for a while. God damn. I'm moving to Florida. Um alright, let's get some stockpile zones going down downstairs right here. We're gonna put in all of our food. I'm thinking, do we need carcasses here? Yeah, you know what? Let's just clear all. Let's get all raw food goes here. Hmm. I literally just checked my mail and saw it was classed as dangerous. Hopefully I'm still allowed in late. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I think one of these emails that I got was classed as spam or dangerous too. I now don't click on any links in my email because I hear all these horror stories um, of just ways that people get spammed by stuff. But no, this this one is quite safe. Um, yeah, let's go see if we can, how do we select? I have too much crap in this stockpile zone, so I can't even select it anymore. Am I even, ah, uh, here we go. That's a little hard to select, but okay. It's, it's doing, the game is accomplishing a lot by everything it's doing. Um, we'll still keep animal carcasses up here. Smashing. We're just going to take away raw foods from this spot. We still want meals there because we just want to store the raw foods elsewhere. Oh, what is this? Oh, why did my TTS not work? I will. Hey, thank you, Cosmic Dynamo. Hey, God bless. Thank you for the $10, my friend. Appreciate it. Um, Fence actually has corners. Oh, wait, I did not. There's a different construction type in the right menu when you choose something. Ah, Echnus, thank you very much. It's one of those things that I wish was automatically done, but I will have to check that. Fence um, construction, there's different types in the right menus. Okay, so let's go back into the construction. Let me see if we can figure out these fences. Only because I think that the fences are something that makes this game look nice. That is to say that it's a very nice looking game. Um, and if we can fit more people into these bedrooms, then let's go start making an animal pasture somewhere near here. We're going to have a kitchen here, so we're probably going to slaughter the animals somewhere nearby that. So let's preemptively create a place where we can slaughter animals um i mean befriend animals um all right so we're gonna put a couple fences there oh this is the wooden fence personally i like it when the game does that for you but i'm also lazy so i'm a bad person right, let's put in like a little fence maybe like right over here and then we'll just do some, I'm just going to preemptively do this. I know there aren't any cows, but deal with it. Um, I, I don't really know if we're going to like... If we're going to have like a door for the fence. Let's just put something there. I think that it looks nice. Just because I want to show you guys more of what this game looks like. And I think that the fences are distinct and characteristic about it. Uh, it just occurred to me I'm also going to have to feed the animals. Damn it. All right, let's see if we can research some guns now. We've gone far enough with this. All right, we want tailoring too, because somebody's... Our cannibal is just a really odd, picky guy. Uh, who is this? Ordric. Okay, he was upset. Desperately thirsty. What a drama queen. Um, we've got this fermenting. Might be better to create two of these, but let's just see what comes out of this once it hits 100. All right, so we've got some 10 rough wine pile. Screw that. I make great wine. Okay, everybody's instantly going to have a drink. Let's give these guys an actual table. I'm trying to think where they should be. Okay, so we're going to have the kitchen over here, so we might as well have... Let's have our dining room somewhere sensible. We'll put that uh, here. 
Mm, yeah, like... Something like this. I imagine that this passageway is... We might block this off because I don't know to what extent we're going to need to insulate in winter. Um, I got a couple ideas here. Let's just start off with what I with what I know I'm gonna want. I know I'm gonna want a dining room like right in here. Ish. Doesn't really make sense to have it there though. Oh, God damn it. Uh, you know what? Now let's put the dining room over here. Again, I want to keep space between structures, but I might combine a couple of these. Uh, then let's do. You know, don't be a slob. Let's put a window in there. Can't yeah cancel cancel that. Um, there we go. Okay, so then this is gonna be our dining room. Yeah, we're gonna want this place to be pretty nice. So let's put another window or two in here. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. Um, okay, wooden wall like that. I don't think that we need this thing to be huge because we're not going to have a lot of people because most people will die in childbirth. Um, and let's put this... Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, so then this is going to be our dining room. And then let's go uh, wooden door right here. Yes, just like that. Like I dreamed it would be. Um, are we going to elect unlock electricity? I don't know if we could go that far into it, but I mean, goddamn, this game could really go into sci-fi battles too. <laughs> I, I hope that they add fantasy creatures. Oh, look at this. This is so mysterious, the way that she's brewing this. She looks like a real live witch. I wonder what type of job this is considered. A little tired? Yeah. Well, I like it when the lady that brews my beer is a little tired, you know. Sleep competent. What does that even mean? All right. Whatever. You're getting tired. Um... Oh, we got more wood. Okay, all of this wood has turned into stick. Let us, let us, let us uh, grab, grab at more trees. Now this tree has grown outside. I'm trying to see still. Do more trees grow out of nothing, or do we have to actually plant them all? I could. Have sw I swear to God, I saw more. I saw more trees growing somewhere. If anybody notices trees like spring up, that would make me pretty happy. I mean, there's got to be some dynamism in the wildlife. Like, we've got bunnies that just hop up out of nowhere. So, that's a thing. Let's also add in another thatched roof. Right about there, once we're done. Um, okay, then this is going to be dining. And are they storing stuff under... I like that. That's kind of nice, right? Yeah, we'll probably want to relocate our brewing down here or something. I mean, is that safe to have brewing underground? She's missing the pot. She looks like a witch. Yeah, something like that. I appreciate the fact that there is some, like, automation of these tasks, though, that, you know, she can spend some time brewing, and then it kind of does it automatically on its own. Um, or, for example, like in Rimworld, you just you do a little bit of work, and then you put them into barrels. Um, as the only other game that I can think of that has beer brewing as a system in it. I can somebody release a game. There was no new uh, game updates. New AAA games were twenty dollars USD. Those are some good. Oh God. Yeah, I'm. I'm wondering what they'll put as the price on this because there's a lot here. There's a lot of content, guys. Um. I'm not. Uh. I mean, I'm not benefiting from that in any way. I'm just. I'm legit curious. I mean, Rimworld was thirty dollars. A lot of people thought that was like a lot for a game, though. Rimworld has gone down a bit at, in times and in places. Like, for example, on Humble Bundle, it's cheaper. Um, but it's taken years for that. I, w I wouldn't necessarily wait out by the difference of like $10 if you like the game enough. Um, this is neat. The one thing I would say is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to see some interesting combat to really get me engaged. I still don't know if I would really come back and play, but I am now getting invested in this. Um, and I'm excited to get raided again. In fact, can I up the game's difficulty midway through? UI scale small every day? No, I can't really, I can't really do that. I, I'm gonna need to play on a harder difficulty soon, only because I feel like it's a little too easy right now. Rimworld has enough content for a 60, yeah, more than enough. Though some of those games, it's kind of like the power rule with games, you know, there's some games that I'll buy, and I'll get, like, a couple minutes of gameplay out of them. Um... Might not really necessarily be worth the price, but a lot of those games are kind of more artful in that way. Um, clearly, this game 
or what was I going to say? I haven't really figured out with this game yet, but you know, with games like RimWorld, Zomboid, stuff like that, uh, you get way more than your money's worth out of them, like hundreds or thousands of hours. Try to remember. I I don't. I think I only really play that much because I have a YouTube channel. Back back when I before I had a YouTube channel, it was more like tens of hours for a game. I was like, wow, I have ninety hours in this game, and people would send me like two thousand hours. Though I am also getting older, and th the the other thing is that on PC you stick with games for longer because there's no such thing as generations of consoles on a PC or something like that. Whereas probably if you're a kid or if you're younger than me, you might have a console. You might not have access to a PC because PCs are what they are. Um, but that was before indie gaming. Indie gaming wasn't nearly as big when I was a kid. At least as far as I knew. All right, we had a little bit of chunk of wall where I didn't finish it off, but let's give these people an actual table now. I wanted to do that because I just saw them eating up there. I don't know if this is going to provide them a mood boost or anything, but I just thematically I'd like to watch it happen. Um, wooden table. Let's get them a large wooden table if I can help it. We have just enough room. Okay, great. Um, oh, this is perfect. It's like a central room with... Ah, this is fantastic. Okay, uh, oh, auto save. All right, um... All right, uh, let's test out a couple things. First off, I want to see if they're able to walk through these things, if there's any collision on the table. So I'm going to put two chairs there, but I do want them to be able to get through, so we'll leave the other side empty. Um, in fact, let's put that on the le less convenient side so that we can really test if they are colliding with that. Just like little things like this, like RimWorld, you can walk right over a workshop. There's stuff like that that I know, but I'm... I'm curious. I, I find it stupid when you get kind of stuck on an obstacle, but I'm trying to see if that's the way that it is. Um, okay, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, okay, so it does appear as if they're automatically going to the best beds available, um, which means that I can keep those sleeping spots in case if we get, like, wounded or anything like that. There's no weird sleeping spot management. Um, to be honest with you, I like the sleeping spot management in RimWorld, but it can become kind of micromanagey. And I think it kind of fits the bill of what this game is, that it's automatically managed for you. Um, nice little subtle details, like these little, whatever you would call them, pickets on the roof. I've, I know nothing about thatched roofs. Bring beer is more about working clean than anything else. Can be really frustrating when you get those funky natural yeasts in your beer. Clearly, this is the worst spot to have a, a brewery. <laughs> it rains into the, uh, into the, into the pot. But no one seems to be questioning it. They just go up there. It's not even actually... De is it even deteriorating? <laughs> um, wait a minute. Is it... I can't honestly even tell. I'm having a hard time selecting this, though. That would be one. Oh, if you just keep on clicking, it keeps selecting the next thing. All right, well, it doesn't seem to be deteriorating, so that's fine. Now, let's keep, uh... Zooming in here. Alright, so this place is a mess. I will have to cut down more trees. Good, good. I'm finding myself with a lot of sticks. How many sticks do we have? We have 897 sticks. I, I'd, like to, I'd like to see a little bit more use of sticks. That would be nice. A little bit of sleeping spot management with um, more than one bed. You lose the bedroom bonus. They did have a shared sleeping together bonus. Oh, wait a minute. Is that because they were in, a th like, a hay bed? I have to check the little specifics on that. But, yeah. um, There does seem to be a little bit of a buff. I'm still trying to figure that. Well, we'll puzzle that out later. Um, suppose you don't need to make arrows. I don't think arrows are a thing. Maybe, like, changing the overall bow type. But I don't think ammo management is a thing. Okay, so let's see. So they've got these two clearly better chairs another thing i would say that isn't in this is furniture quality um which again i think fits the game um i think a lot of these things are little bits that give rimworld its character um but again the fact that i'm not really seeing much combat here and that it seemed like combat was kind of a main function of the game i'm not really getting the sims from this either i think this game actually might be more fun if it has more um like, deeper internal systems. Okay, um, we're getting another refugee. 
Lucas. Let's find out about Lucas. Only because I think a lot of the people who enjoy these games like The Sims, and they kind of like the micromanage e bits and that. Um, this guy's very good in melee and culinary. Lucas Fletcher. And do we have anything? We have uh, one adept third coming archer. Okay, so we're going to have to fight some archers and some pillagers. Yeah, we'll take him. Um, I want more combat, and I, I think we'll win by a lot. Chained up, slightly hungry. First off, just uh, drop your drop your chains. You take those off. Okay, let's uh, see what else. So he's no longer chained. Religious needs fulfilled, slightly hungry. All right, well, we have plenty of food where you're coming. Uh, we have only one day and five hours. So now I think we're our needs are pretty much met. Yeah, we don't really even have anything to worry about. Um, let's see what defensive structures look like. Is this going to give us anything neat? Reinforce doors. If you prefer the... Oh, cool. All right. Um, decorative banners. Decorative structures. Okay, we probably don't really need much of that yet. Kind of reminds me of My Sims in that way. Remember that game? Research table. Choose alchemy, divination for the experience of your settlers to figure out stuff works. For me personally, I'm going to need a little bit more like deep, like really rigorous systems to really keep me into the game, I know. Um, only because that's the kind of thing that I enjoy. Um, smoke houses. We could preserve our food here. That would be good. Ooh. Um, I don't think this is really going to give us a major advantage in combat this time, so I'm just going to kind of leave that as is. Um, let's build this defense out, though, how I think it would naturally work. We're going to build kind of like a, a little causeway here, because we find ourselves leaving our base less and less. Um, we need wood, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, we've got one day and four hours, and we've got plenty of colonists, so I think that they'll be fine with that. Let's just build him another bed. Um, again, we don't really want to go way into the bedroom creation. Just got to zoom in a bit here. I'm not struggling with the um, with managing the Z levels at all, though. I really like this. Um, it seems very easy to do. Let's just give him some tasks. Lucas is hungry. We want him to convalesce as soon as possible. Um, what is he really good at? He likes tailoring. That's good. We need a... We kind of need a tailor. Um, and he's also a good cook, so we'll actually put him on that as well. That's good. All right. Did I ever play Dwarf Fortress? I love Dwarf Fortress. I struggle with the UI, to be honest with you. Um, if I had infinite time, I would play a lot more Dwarf Fortress. I just haven't found the time to do it yet. Uh, and I think that what Krug Smash does is just so incredible. And I, I, I think if I were to create anything, it would just kind of be like, um, almost Krug Smash. <laughs> that's only that's only to just speak so highly of Krug. Um, goddamn, he makes great videos. Um, but yes, also very similar to this. Uh, really, the ultimate game of this genre. Um, why are we losing hit points on these meals? Oh, the ground type. We've got to replace this with uh, wood floors. Whoops, our food is deteriorating. I feel like thematically I should have stone floors down here, but let's just start with wood. That's fine. Enemies are coming in 19 hours, and settler wounds wound needs tending. Is somebody going to automatically do that to him, though? Dwight is tending to him. Nice little... I mean, these particle effects are not... I don't know if you guys know anything about game dev. This is just a nice little touch. I'm trying to think of it. I, I find the font non-invasive and very nice. A little bit, I wish it were a little bit more square. Um, only because I, I find that anything that's kind of like with all of these flourishes on it tends to become a little bit distracting over time. Now I'm just becoming a, like a snob, though, about the game. There's tons of things that you could change, and there's plenty of counter reasons. Um, don't blame me. The graphics are a struggle, too. Did I see that? It is coming to Steam with graphics kind of like this game. Oh, what? Uh, Dwarf Fortress? I've been keeping up with the For Dwarf Fortress devlogs for a while. I just, I really like seeing Tarn, like, in his house working on the game. There's just something, like, beautiful. Um, I think maybe it's Tarn's hair. I, does everybody know? The, the developer for Dwarf Fortress? I really like it. I really like his hair. It's cool. Did, did I play Space Haven? It's a space station colony. It reminds me of this a bit. And I saw, uh, who is it? Sam is doing that. Um, looks good. 
I just have never really gotten deeply into it. But if it's a game that he can get into, it's it's usually a good game. Um, I was going to say, linen cloth pile. Okay, we've got more of this. Probably shouldn't have planted so much of this before I knew what to do with it. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and say it's a little bit dangerous to build up, clearly because of what happened before. Um, on the one hand... I should have made this stockpile larger. But on the other hand, architecturally, I do want this to look cool. What am I going to do here? What am I going to do, guys? I want to make it kind of like... Um, I don't want to make it look like a big block in the middle. What I might do is this. This would be a pretty simple way out of this. Oh, no, that won't work. I haven't seen a way to quick... I don't know how to quickly cancel all of these. Yeah. This is another... I don't know if I know the controls yet, but I just have to... Be, I, can I do this? Yep, that does work. Okay, so I have to use the cancel function. Um, uh, The double click would be nice there. I do that in RimWorld a lot. But, again, that's a minor thing. Um, Let's see... God, this is going to be really annoying to listen to myself on the, on the feedback, just complaining about every little thing. This could be like this, and this could be like this. Yeah, I didn't go to the work of developing an entire game. Oh, take everything that I say with a grain of salt, is what I'm trying to say. Um, now, we're going to need more stockpile storage room. On the one hand, yes, it could be up here, but I also think there's going to be a big element of defense coming soon. Let's actually dig a hole underground now, I think. Um, judging by that, we need one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven spaces under this. So that's quite a lot. Um, we're probably going to get rid of this table. So let's just say. But you do want the stockpile to be easy to get to. I should have just made the stockpile bigger in the beginning. And let's see if we can just get away with expanding this for a little bit longer. We're just going to make it cover the entire floor. Not really very messy, but I won't see it and it's out of sight and out of mind. Um, remember the Tower of Babel? Maybe we didn't... Yeah, like, see, I don't want it to turn into the Tower of Babel. And also the fact that we saw that lightning strike means that perhaps there's, like, structural integrity in this game. Stew is rotted on the stockpile. Oh, God damn it! Now we're losing our stews. Let's see how the... Uh, how is that underground storage going? I do get... I do feel good about being, um... Got some kind of refrigeration. I don't. I don't want to lose everything that I'm gathering up. I want to accumulate wealth here, guys. Um, okay, we got 11 hours till enemies come. Let's just go wooden floor here. And then I'm going to start to build some, like, battlements on the outside. I figure four wide for enemies coming in is fairly decent. Might even make that smaller. I don't really know what is most advantageous here, but whatever. Um, let's go with... I think I'm going to go four wide here. Uh, I think I know what I'm gonna look like okay and then let's do this and I'm probably gonna want more space so that they can gonna get up and down stairs so actually you know what? let's just take these and uh, bring them out I know what this is gonna look like oh that's nice so I could do grid based cancellation like ah, uh, god damn it can I all right good enough for me Come on. Damn you. Okay. It works. A little, little bit like stuff like that. It's pretty minor, though. Most of the controls are incredible. Um, all right. Let's see. Three. So I would have that four wide. I think I'm going to do like a staircase in the middle so that they could get up and down. I'm going to plan on this thing being pretty large. And you know what? Let's make this thing. We'll start off with a small structure for right now. So it'll make a little bit more sense later on, but let's just start off like that. All right. Um, and that's actually good for the structural integrity. This works. Then we'll do wooden floors along here. And what I'm kind of planning on is having these be larger towers. I'm going to bring these out a little bit more over time so that they have a way big causeway. I'm going to plan on this being like the front of a medieval fortress. Um, we'll have 
battlements on either side of it so that archers can fire down from the inside or the outside. And then maybe we'll have like a staircase in the middle so that they can get up and down to higher levels if they wanted to. Um, looks like, oh, do I have to cancel from the top of the walls? Maybe. I don't know. Just like a little convenient thing. Probably some of this stuff I'll get used to. I mean, I've played RimWorld with friends and they had no idea how it worked, but it's only because I have like 500 hours in the game. Maybe I'm just, you know, I'm impatient with learning systems. Um, let's see. But we do have archers coming and not a lot of time. So I'm probably not going to get a chance to build all of this again. Alas. Um... And everybody's focused on other stuff. Great job, uh, terrible settlers. All right, all right, all right. Okay. We're going to get something ready. The thing is, um, let's at a minimum, even if I have to cancel some of that, the one, it's too bad there's no suspend build order. But on the other hand, I want to do this. Um, rotate. Now, you do have height advantage. Um, it said this in one of the tutorials that if you have a height advantage over your enemies with archers, um, that's a big part of combat. I don't know if it stacks from level to level. Um, but yeah, if you have like a, I don't know, like a high ground on your enemy, it's, you know, like, uh, stop Anakin, I've got the high, you know, that, all that Ewan McGregor uh, bullshit. So we're going to, uh, we're going to make like you, uh, excuse me, Ewan McGregor. And, um, oh, God, they're coming imminently, is the word that I meant to say. Um, and Lucas, okay, you're a slob. What do we even have for you, Lucas? Um, yeah, you know, you're just gonna have a bad life here. Put back on your shackles. Um, you know what, I want to see if we lose a fight. I want to see if it's, if it's easy or hard. Hang on a second. We refuse to... Okay, Florida folk. <laughs> Florida folk. Florida men took up arms, making ready for battle. Okay. I like these, like, glow bottoms of the enemies, because I gotta say, for all the medieval stuff, I think that's kind of a nice touch. Um, I like it when things glow. I don't think the wooden floors were ever built under the food in the cellar. They, yes, they still need to do that. Um, okay, we're about to have more of the war crimes, though, because we have one cannibal living in our colony. Um, oh, wait, 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 so these guys start off in a pit, I'm gonna have to watch these guys because, oh wait, no, they'll come up this ramp, there are just random ramps around, I don't think they're going for historical realism here, but let's get Lucas a shield and stuff like that, I still figure that, you know, we did really well with the archers last time, flimsy reinforced, man, these things really are not in particularly good condition, based on what we did with them, let's see if the enemy, um, Okay, so there they are. They're kind of milling about right now. Slops. All right, we're going to go back over to our base and equip... Good job, Lucas. Fight for your freedom. Um, uh, here you go. I'm still not... I'm not... Maybe I'm not even seeing where it is in the game, but are there shift orders if anybody knows more about it? Because I have not been able to issue a shift order. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. Oh, wait a minute. This... 3.17 DPS, 3.16 DPS, but this one's in way better condition. Let's just take the one that's in better condition. All right, so that's, uh, there's, ooh, six of them. And two of them are archers as well. We're not going to have these defenses done. Hang on a second. I'm just going to save in case if I die. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to lose everything. Florida, two. Pac-Man Racing 1, thank you for the 200 bits, my friend. I appreciate that. Very grateful for those bits. Um, hmm. Well, we will have the high ground. We might not necessarily have these, whatever they are. Wooden Merlins up. What? Where did Merlin come from? All right. Let's get a couple more of them out of bed, though. We want to... They signed to Settler Lucas. Okay, everybody get the hell out of bed. Um, all right. Now we're going to see some actual gameplay. Gameplay. Oh, sorry, I missed that before. Hey, Nick Dodgers, thank you for the sub. And Shkicky, Shkicky Wick, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Very grateful, my friend, very grateful. All right, everybody in this game has bad posture. It's a slight complaint. 
But it looks like, you know what, we aren't going to have those Merlins back up. We won't learn about the Merlins, unfortunately. Um, let's just see. Why do you have this massive axe? We've got to get him equipped with a uh, helmet as well. You get that flimsy leather helmet. Dwight, you get up on, on high, Dwight. We love you, Dwight. Here we go. Okay, Bayhild is there. Ordric is there. Yeah, I feel... Okay, I'm starting to feel attached to these settlers, though, you know? Um... Now, we do want them to come in, so we're going to put you there, you there, and you there. Wait, you stay there. And then, Lucas, you go down, because we don't care about you as much. Uh, you go down over there. Now, we want them to come in, because we do have these spike traps, and I've seen that these spike traps are actually a little bit overpowered. Um, I probably just should have just built more of those, but I didn't want to totally cheese it, because... I just kind of want to play the game the way it seems to be meant to be played. Though, I don't know if, like, maybe we'll get cavalry or something... All right, now let's see how they um, how they attack us. Yeah, I mean, look at all the Jesus Christ, we're doing a lot of damage. Um, we want to shoot. Is this guy their archer? Baldwin Mortman, enemy. Yeah, let's shoot their archers first because we just don't want them to be able to shoot us. My primary concern. Okay, so they're coming in here. Um, was this really the best defensive structure? Let's have our people there. And there, because you two have shields. I don't know what the range is of this. No, don't go there. It would be nice if there was a way to, like, hold ground or something. Do they have this? They have different combat stances. Drafted. No, I, I do not see that. Okay, well then just stay there, because I actually want these guys to wander into our spike trap. And you stay there, and got it, damn, I need to keep doing this. Okay, that could get a little bit annoying, I could see. No, you know what, just everybody stand back. Trap misfired. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, this is actually... This combat is full of depth. A couple of other controls, like a hold control would be nice or something. Maybe I'm just not seeing it in the game right now. But, uh, damn. Okay, we won that pretty easily. Wowzers. I like that, though. I could see this combat scaling up way to way more to big battles. Um, which is one of the things that kind of excites me about it. Let's redraft you two. I haven't seen any prisoner cap uh, capturing either, which would be one thing I would be really interested in. Um, I think it'd be cool if I could capture some of these raiders, but I just do not know enough about it yet. All right. Um, or can we, like, do I have another option on you? Nah, I don't really see it. Nothing but attack. All right, well, tally-ho. Good job. They do that. get that kind of limp, so there is some body damage. It's neat. A Merlin is a solid upright section of a battlement. It can be sometimes be uh, pierced by an arrow. Oh, cool! Vertical embrasures. Ah, oh, we know all about embrasures from uh, from Rimworld. Is there a drag feature where you've got multiple pawns highlighted? It gives me nuts that Rimworld. No. Um. Oh, what the thing where you need to install the Octung mod? Yeah. Um. I don't really know. A lot of this stuff seems like it's really like simple early access stuff that could just be like patched in with like a couple extra controls or something like that. Um, but overall, like, I think that the systems as they exist in the game seem really neat. So I'm like, that makes me pretty, uh, optimistic. All right, let's, uh, have a brief recess for a second and explore the opportunities of cannibalism to, uh, one of our settlers who likes cannibalism. Okay, everybody wants to have a drink after the fight. I understand that. Um, doesn't have any disadvantage for them to have armor on all the time. Okay, Ordric. This gentleman is a cannibal. How do why would why do was why was he a cannibal again? How do we know this about him again? Contemplative and ca oh, cuz it says that he's a cannibal. That makes sense. Um is anyone else a cannibal? In <laughs> I feel like I'm taking a poll of a room, you know. Is anyone in here a cannibal? Blood Oh, so a lot of them are Part of Mistral. Okay, clearly there's more, like, this says... For some, tricks and buffoonery were a midwinter indulgence. But Lucas liked to play jokes all year long. <laughs> what does this even mean? All right, exciting. Exciting, though. I, I, I like it that there's all these systems I feel like I'm just barely scratching the surface on. There's more than meets the eye here. Despite the fact that they may not have eyes. Um... All right, now I'm going to play a little bit smarter since we've seen some more of the game systems. 
For some reason, my people don't seem to be activating the spike traps, so I'm just going to put out more of them. If one of them steps on it, so be it. We'll just learn about the game. Uh, Ordric, can I just have you e eat this corpse? Mm. Did uh, Wait a minute, what is he doing? Hungry. He's not doing anything. He's just sitting here wiping his nose. Slob. Um... Let's just find out about this cannibalism whole thing. Um, oh, wait a minute. No, that was at the butcher table. My bad. Okay, so here we go. Products, resources needed, one carcass. 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 Um, enemy corpse. I'm really, like, I'm not... I'm not learning about cannibalism as I would... As much as I would prefer. Um, we've got four ghoulish-looking corpses right here. And we have one cannibal. It makes him happy to eat people. So we should help him you know it's not hurting them they're already dead their relatives won't know they'll just know that they were killed but uh hmm i don't know what to do here does anyone know how to eat people in this game I, so far i don't know i mean he just did it on his own so maybe he just goes quietly but let's follow around ordrick for a little while because he's well he's hurt right now but he's you know the graphics are growing on me, though. I gotta say, the more I do it... I think if they had, like, some wacky animations or something like that. Like, a wacky, like, ah, oh, I'm gonna eat a person animation. Like, that... I, I would be more attached to these colonists. Clearly, Ordric has personality. He's, uh... Kind of like a Hannibal Lecter type. And he's unhappy about his clothes. What a particular... Swine. Um... Yeah, let's see if they built that floor downstairs. No, they still didn't do it. Alright, well, alright, or whatever. Um... Let's see how, how the, are these... Okay, great. These trees have come along. It'd be nice if there was an auto-harvest over here, but I think we're just gonna do that. And that's gonna give us way more wood. Um, now, these stick traps are extremely overpowered because look at how many sticks we have from everything that we've done. I'm just going to fill this entire area with stick traps because it doesn't trigger when my colonists step on it. I know it's a little cheesy of me, but now I want to start to play the game as I think I'm supposed to, because I see- I can see that the difficulty is ramping up. And we did make contact with the enemy in the last fight. Look, we just planted flowers all around our main gate. No one will expect anything. Um, ooh, we got a male helmet. There we go. Alright. Nice. Um, alright, now we're gonna need a larger stockpile, though. I might want to move this brewery. Yeah, a move, a move function would be most, uh, most wanted. They serve me a good human ramen. Uh, oh, human ramen. <laughs> human ramen kind of rhymes. This is just missing the Sims music and goofy animations. Yeah, I'd like that Sims buy mode. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just demanding too much that games be like other games that I've played. In which case, shame on me. Um... I think that the Z levels is like a, a fundamental mechanic that makes this game more interesting. Oh, settlers are exhausted. Well, we already told them to sleep for another hour a day. They can... I mean, how many hours of sleep is this? Hang on a second. Let's... Oh, wait. You don't... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, that's only seven hours of sleep? I give them eight hours of sleep. You know, they're working in the fields all day. That's pretty tiring stuff. Um... Hmm. Let's give them one more hour of sleep. It seems a bit early to get up. I know we're in medieval times. I'm wondering if the daylight is going to change as we get into winter, though. I'm I'm curious as to what the winter will bring. Six hours, plenty of time with some bread in the bread engine. No, but I mean, you know, win yeah, see, no, winter... Ah, oh, God damn, speak of the devil. Okay, now we really got to get ready. We're going to be cold, uh... I'm thinking a lot of the game has led up to this, and I'm feeling somewhat unprepared. Let's go back down underground and just make sure that we have enough food. We don't want everybody to starve to death. Generally, that's not a good thing. Um, let's take out some more of this wall. Um, I'm just thinking, are we going to get a cave in here? That's probably a thing, so I'm just going to be careful. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's probably a thing. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna risk. I'm not gonna risk it. It would be interesting though. 
But I, I, I do somewhat want to play well. Somewhat. All right. Okay, we have more research available. Preserving food. Now, what would this entail? Because meat and... Okay, so this is only for meat, but we'll probably need to be able to preserve meat in the winter because, well, we won't be able to grow crops in... Uh, autumn! Autumn blustered in with crisp mornings, cooler days, and as a season to prepare for winter, tailoring warm clothing and stocking up on food and supplies. Okay. Research two. Decorative banners. Okay, I think... We're fine with defense, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's do preserving food. I think that would probably be the safest option for the seasons. Settlers, wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! Settlers are starving! Hard enough food. We have plenty of food downstairs. Hang on a second. What the fuck are they eating? Um, alright. You got carrots, and you're not cooking them because you're lazy. God damn these people. Um. Slobs. Alright. Oh, look at all the books piling up on the floor. It looks like a madman lives here. Okay, uh. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'll do. I'll fix this. I'll fix this too. Um. Let's go. And put a kitchen, like, right here. I know these are pretty close together, but it's the kitchen and the dining room, and it's fine. Um, damn it, this is like no space for the uh, hypothetical mule we might meet one day. Alright, that's... You know what, that's pretty good. I don't know why I built these other walls. Let's just uh, deconstruct these. Yeah, those were a waste. And in fact, just because I'm a little worried if fire spread is actually a thing that ends up existing in the game... Um, Yeah, let's let's make copies of these and just put them there. I again, I don't know if it exists because I still am stupid. Um, okay, we'll do wooden doors here. And great. Okay, so then this will be our kitchen. We're going to get a specialized workshop for our kitchen, and then everyone will be happy again. Um, let's also just cancel these. I know I I like this defense. I'll leave up the bare bones kind of look of it, but I'm going to uh, let's cancel out most of it. Cause okay, yeah, that makes sense. So if you look at everything from top down. Yeah, okay, that works a little bit better. Okay, but great. Look, they're taking down the birch trees. A little bit I'm procrastinating for winter, but it looks like that was just a momentary thing in terms of not having enough food. Make sure you don't do that anymore. Um, and can we also assign somebody more permanently to cooking? Lucas is... Lucas is primarily the cook. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, this is a momentary thing. Don't worry about that. Ignore that, please. It seems like a good mechanic. See myself building more castle-like games. Yeah, I feel like that this game is probably more about the architecture. You're right. You know, maybe I said that it was about the combat too soon, but it seems a lot like, um... Like, there's more depth in terms of what you could do with a castle defense. Um, I'm looking forward to just seeing big raids. Uh, I could see raids being way bigger and more macro manage than micro manage like in RimWorld. Like, in RimWorld, it's like, you know, let me make sure that every single dude is behind cover... Um, and let me make sure that... Oh, what is this? You know, I like that, how it tells you with, like, the light up when their construction levels go up. That's a modded RimWorld thing, but I think that it's nice. Um, I don't know, like, a lot of little stuff like that that I think is really good sound game design judgment. Um, okay, great. So they're using those birch trees for industry. Good, they're finishing up stuff faster, and we should probably even put in more trees. I think I underestimated the number of trees, only because the labor to output ratio is pretty good. Um, we're getting a lot out of planting these trees, so let's do a couple more. I think that they just look nice, too, and I wouldn't mind having some growing all the time in various spots. Let's say, uh... Honestly, I, w I wouldn't mind just having, like, patches of gro birch trees growing. I think that they look nice. Let's, uh, yeah, let's build a couple, like, uh, maybe on, like, the causeway up. Um. Yeah, pro landscape architect right here. Um. Oh, shit. Uh, birch tree, birch tree. Oops, shrink zone. 
symmetry. Behold, all right, uh, I don't know why they're different colored zones. That's a little odd. I thought that they had designated actual colors, but... Yeah, like, see, how these are all birch trees, and yet they're different colors. At least it makes it easy to see the difference, though. That's true. Hmm. How's my day? I'm sure not sure how long I've been playing this game, but what's my opinion of it? Um, it keeps improving by the hour. I've been playing for three hours. I honestly did not expect myself to like it this much, and the fact that I'm still going right now is a r speaks volumes of good about this. Um, going Medieval. I, I now officially recommend it. I like it. Um... Let's see. I don't want to build on salt. I'm invested in the ga in the game, guys. I'm in highly invested into this colony. No, it doesn't. It's not a work of art yet. Damn it! You know what? Actually, let's bring this here. It's bothering me that. Uh, how do I delete this zone? Deconstruct. K. Okay. Maybe they're German. Like the construct was that in K in German? Now I'm just saying things that are ignorant. All right, let's let them live their lives. Okay, this winter approaching is making me a little bit uneasy. We should probably get that animal preservation going soon, and we should probably get some kind of meat shack. That sounds a little dirty, a meat shack. <laughs> um, Let's put that, like, back here somewhere. I know it's a bit of a hike for them, Hmm, where are we going to put this? Actually, we could even put the meat shack right here. It's like Shake Shack. <laughs> Welcome to Meat Shack. <laughs> ah, that's stupid. Um, now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kind of start to make this make a little bit more sense. Let's put, like, a, a room right here where they can kind of come and go from. You, yeah, you're going to like this room. Okay, let's do this. L cancel. I tend to think about my constructions a little bit more since I used to play. I was really too fast at. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Now we've still got the stairs there. And that could also be a risk with the fire spread if that is a thing. I'm going to look back at this and I'm going to sound so superstitious. Um, okay, I know what this is going to look like. Door. door. I want to make it a little bit bigger. And then we'll do wall. 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 Okay, this is going to be the meat shack. Alright, and the, the idea behind this is that I don't want to create too many entrances to the base, otherwise it makes us more vulnerable. Um, if I find a way to create like a secret entrance and exit out of the base, then I'll do that later on and I'll just say I'm stupid now. Um, but it would be really nice if I could just have hunters come in and out of the base like this and then kind of go about it like that. Uh, for some reason, they have just not had time to haul. I should probably get a permanent hauler soon, though. But now it's starting to be a lot more like RimWorld. I'm spending a lot of time on this harvesting, though. I'm thinking maybe I should get one person who's just off of harvesting entirely. Wow, guys, I gotta say, I'm getting really into this game. Like, I'm talking more to myself now, and I'm just, I'm getting really into this. Um, cannibal and, uh, well, I mean, we've got all these kinds of traits. I'm getting more attached to the colonists. I might just stop streaming and go play alone. Um, you ever do that? No, sometimes I do have that with games where I'm like, I think I want to play this on my own. Um, it's kind of like alone. Um. All. Alright, anybody who's not, like, really good at plants, I'm just gonna take off of plants. Here we go. Settlers suffering from cold. Damn it. Who says that trees can't be both a resource and decorative? I like that. Um, now in the winter, we're going to have a lot more time for hunting. Alright, hang on a second. Our meat shack is almost done. It, it is reminding me of Banished in that way now, though, too. I'm starting to feel like the changing of the seasons. I wanted this middle structure to be so much taller. And maybe I'm not giving myself enough space for defense here, either. Yeah, whatever. Don't stop streaming. No, I wouldn't stop streaming and play. I'm, I'm enjoying doing it with you guys. I, I, I gotta say, the one thing I really like about streaming a new game... Ooh, the pyre is lit! 
The one thing I really like about streaming a new game is the fact that uh, I, I don't have to just learn it all from tips because I do enjoy I do enjoy discovery about new games, um, and it does pain me sometimes when I somebody just tells me all of the best strategies for a game. I oftentimes won't read them. Um, I know I know it's in an effort to be helpful, so I, I hold nothing against you, but I really just enjoy the sense of discovery in games. Um, but I, no, this is a dream for me to be able to learn a new game before a week before everybody else finds out about it. Um, ha ha ha. Uh, sorry. Um, ooh. <laughs> I like I like this guy's style. Nude, helmet on, stirring the pot. Uh, no, I, I, I do really like, uh, I do really like discovering new stuff about games. Um, let's see if we can clothe everyone else. We do have one guy. They don't seem to automatically put on clothes. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm stupid here. This is actually one of the systems that I left out of the game. Um, you can create automatic clothing policies. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to do this. Is there a way to just manage for everyone at once? Yep, let's just tell everybody, because this is um, automatic equipping. But wait a second, why doesn't... Why doesn't he automatically equip that? I, I can't tell if this is allowed clothing or if this is automatically do it. Like, I, I can't tell right now. There doesn't seem to be any other things. Like, he gets a whole set of clothing just by that. So that's good. Uh, burning body. It's a too bad. It's too bad. Oh, wait. We've got heat output. Did you just see that? It said heat output right there. So clearly there's a whole other temperature system in this game, which we've only kind of glanced at the surface of. Let's go see how the food is doing downstairs. I really like the fact that we have this. Um. Okay, it's kind of heated up a little bit inside, oddly, because it's now the fall. This is kind of like refrigerated, decaying because of temperature. Clearly, we're going to need to do a little bit more research in that department, but I think that there is actual um, preserving food, too. Packaged meal. Okay, so then this, I assume, would last longer, if not forever. So the idea is that food would decay and that maybe, maybe it's just like a more lenient amount of time than RimWorld. I, we are making our way through the tech tree, though. Um, can I mine iron? I haven't tried it yet, but I think you can. I don't, I don't honestly know. We, we mined out some stuff. We mined out clay. Um, and I think there's stone too. Yeah, there, and I've seen quarries in some of the trailers, so clearly, uh, there are like veins of stuff. All right, let's see, let's see if we can make it into the winter a little bit. And we could make it to the winter. We've got autumn here now. It still seems like that we can harvest some of these crops. Does it tell us when they're... A crop to sow all... Oh, wait a minute. All year round. Maybe we can grow some things in winter. Like, I know in Zomboid, cabbages could grow... I know nothing about real-life cabbage growth, but is that a thing that you could grow them in winter? In which case, cool. Barley. Uh, we get that. Can we brew beer now, too? Oh, we can. Because we were growing barley. Um, well, we've got ale. Culinary 10. Okay, I'm thinking that beer is better than ale only because it requires more skill. So let's just say that. And let's do until we have... Yeah, let's make like 10. Um, I don't think we're going to have enough red currants to last for the entire winter. Um, in fact, we're probably using up a lot of them right now. All right, but it looks like that they've got some of these uh, wooden, wooden defenses done. Looks like they were just about done here with a lot of this. So let's go reset that butchering table to a different spot. We're going to build a copy of that in here. And let's just rotate that in place. There we go. It's actually rather large. Um, we are going to deconstruct this because I would rather just specialize all of that in there. Um, hmm, what do we need next? available. I, I kind of want to make things just look architecturally done, but I'm resisting that urge a little bit, only because of the food and winter problem. Ooh, the ground has changed! Wowzers. Look at that, a lush autumn, autumnal uh, 
bouquet. A lush, lush autumnal bouquet. <laughs> oh, God, I gotta stop patting myself on the back. All right, uh, uh, let's bring these out just a little bit more because I think jutting them out is gonna help us. Let's make them like... But no more than that. That seems like plenty of room. You know, we could probably put like some kind of reinforced door here on the outside. Make it better. And let's also put in, um... Did we unlock this before, right? Deep hole to store... Do we need a deeper hole to store the meats? Oh, wait, is Ghoul an IRL gardener? Damn. I gotta... Damn. <laughs> I gotta... I gotta go bring some plants. I gotta bring some plants to Ghoul. He knows what I mean. Nah, even I don't know what I mean. Oh, wait, who else is... Is Ghoul... Fuck, I missed Ghoul being here. My good friend Ghoul. Ghoul, hope you're doing well. Sorry, I've, I've been into this one. I've been like... I've been in game mode. I've been in the gamer zone. Hang on a second. So we got the wooden door. But we could also replace that with the grated door. A portal with a view. See what? Who or what is before outside before you? Okay, so we don't actually have iron ingots yet. So... Damn. That's kind of cool. I feel like I should have these, but I don't have enough ironing. But I don't have any iron ingots, nor do we have iron. But we and we also don't have smelting, so we can't have them because we can't have nice things. All right, let's just live with wood for a while. Maybe I'll end up regretting this later because it's all gonna burn down or something like that. But that would be a learning experience unto itself. Oh, what is that? The lizards are starving. No, you aren't. You just haven't eaten anything. What point of time and where will I bring ghoul food? I don't know. Maybe I'll send it to him in, via uh, Venmo or the mail or something. You know, you could do that now, right? Mm, let's see. Research available. Oh, I'm just being stupid. Um, decorative structures. I don't think we... Ooh, cooking. Oh, that's neat. All right. Well, we're going to need, uh, we're going to need some metal before we do that. So we're going to need these iron ingots. Let's do that. Yeah. Unlock that. Okay, so what do we need for this? We need a smelting furnace or a smelting furnace in which we could use limestone or clay. Well, I think that we have a lot of clay. Um, hmm, we'll probably want to put this near our central stockpile zone. So let's say wooden wall. How the hell am I going to... Oh, wait, we could do this now? Oh, I didn't even see this before. Wow, I feel dumb. I didn't even see that I could do limestone or... Uh, clay before. Pardon me, that was pretty ignorant. Um, damn. I feel like I should have done that before. For our defenses. <laughs> Rather than wood? Oh well, never mind. Um, what is this? Wait, this guy just walked through a wall. Alright, not everything needs to make sense, it's fine. Um, let's just put that workshop somewhere outside. Smelting furnace? Yeah, let's put one like there. Wait a minute. No, we need workshops. Ah, oh, goddammit. We need workshops. Where am I going to put it? Where am I going to put it? I feel stupid making just another building for every single thing. Like, I want there to be more variety in my... God, now, I, I feel like I'm only just scratching the surface there, too. You know what? Let's put it on top of here. We'll have production of things that are in the stockpile on the roof of the stockpile zone. And we'll make it look somewhat passable. Okay, um, we'll put this here. Put this here. Put this here, and we're going to have to redo some of that too. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to move this one. Unfortunately, you still can't move things, but whatever, I keep saying that. Um, let's go to, not graded door, let's do this and this. Okay, great, so now this second level, will, ooh, that wasn't symmetrical. That would have killed me inside. Sorry, I really need everything to be, like, lined up. Oh, man. That was that was a close one. Oh, thank God. Okay, right there. All right, so we're going to make, like, a smaller room on top of this room. And this will be the, where the production happens. Because we can take the things from the big room and put them into the little room. And then bring them back down to the big room. Hey, thank you. You're awesome sauce, too, crappy lemur. 
Yeah, you can walk through the wall because it's before understanding of physics, which teaches we can't walk through walls. Yes, so, yes, so because Einstein hasn't lived yet, we can walk through walls. That makes perfect sense. Now, I wanted to be able to get to these things. I want to be able to get under these towers. Ooh, a sturdy light crossbow. Wait a minute, I didn't even see this before. Lucas, you dastardly man. Prioritize sprawling that to the stockpile. Dastardly man indeed. All right, let's have this. And we're going to need to um, create a new brewing industry. Damn it. Uh, you know, I really wish I had made this central stockpile zone larger. But at the same time, it's like, uh, how could I have known, really? Um, but the fact that you could go vertically means that you can, you know, you have a whole other dimension to think about. And you could go underground. Um, damn. I could go three out. I think I am going to need a central pillar in here. Yeah, a couple central pillars. Um, well, we do have wooden beams now, so we could build those. I'm trying to figure out how these even... Hit point structure dimensions, value. Let's just try building them randomly in the middle. Support beam needs to be placed between two times walls. Oh, so they're supposed to be built on the wall. Why are these lines coming up? Oh, I see. Ah! Like that. Okay. Ah! That is very nice. Ah! I like that. All right. Hmm. I should cancel some of these. Cancel. And then we're going to put up... Uh, support okay, so this is neat. So it's like a whole other system of roof supports. Okay, that works with me. That works. All right. Cool architecture. I like that. Neat. Um, are there merchant caravans? I haven't seen them, but that would be a really easy way to add a lot of depth to the game. Um, I have gotten surprisingly few events. I would like to see more events, because I think that's what, I think that's what adds to stories. I could see this game being a little bit one-dimensional if there aren't too many events. Like, every single time you play it, it's the same. Um, I think it takes a longer time for that sensation to kick in with a game like, um, for example, like a RimWorld or a Kenshi. Kenshi has a static world, too, which is... Like, I feel like I could play Kenshi a hundred times and then get tired of it. Whereas Rimworld, I do actually feel like you could keep playing forever. Um, what is the size of the area map? I'll go over that again, too. Um, region. We've got all of this. Now, I'm not sure why these borders have expanded out. Maybe this is... Wait, why, why, why is my area growing? Region influence 25.7%. But we've just been trying to live as ourselves. Um... All right, well, apparently I'm colonizing the whole world, and I'm a some kind of uh, bastard. Um, but no, we'll uh, ignore that. Yeah, look, these guys keep walking through the wall. Who do they think they are? But I gotta say, like, I wanted to get to a point where I had some kind of slightly more interesting architecture, and they think that this is it. Um, the, oh, we're gonna get more lightning. All right. Get ready. <laughs> this is the big thing. Oh, I got pretty excited there. Hang on a second. We're all going to die. Somebody's going to die. Something's going to get set on fire. I was surprised there wasn't any fire before. I'm looking at, uh, who is this? Let's see if he gets hit by lightning. Ordric, he's a pretty bad person. Wouldn't be surprised if he got struck by lightning. This is nice. Lightning, 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 come me, lightning. There it is. Wowzers. Okay, so it only like broke down the doors. Oh, got another one. Oh, the roof is fine. That wouldn't happen to the roof. I don't know that we could get two lightning strikes in one storm. That never happens. Damn it. 
All right, well, maybe I shouldn't be building the literal Tower of Babel right here. But whatever. Okay, I think that could have gone on fire, but it is raining. So there's- Whoa, shit. Oh, we needed that. Damn it. Is it winter now? No, it's not winter yet. We've got another week of autumn. All right. Lightning is interesting. Maybe not everything that I would expect, but very well, very well. Um, let's go ahead. I, I'd like to build more trees outside on the walls. Let's uh, go do that. I have a birch tree here. I'm going to like dot our walls with them every two or so. Here we go. I just, I, I want to think about the feng shui, guys. Oh, d god damn it. And a second. I like this game. Wait a second. Copy. Two, three. Yeah, this kind of works better. One, two, three. Okay, see what I did there? I have to skip three. Alright, let's do it like that. Uh, K, K, and K. Damn it, this is... Oh, great. This is starting to feel like The Sims to me. And I like The Sims. I mean that in a good way. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm counting in three-quarter time or something. All right, uh, yeah, that's fine. I hope that they can walk through that and there's not collision, but let's just see what that looks like on that side of the base. Am I making sure? I've got a glass of water. I'm a little hungry. I think we'll finish up in a bit. Stop for lunch. This is the most I've been into a new game, though. Lucas turned 25. Okay, so this is neat. So there's, like, birthday as a concept. It exists. Maybe the rain is... It could be putting out the fire. I just haven't really seen any fire yet. But, I mean, I feel like that if they add one little system like that to this game... This is one of those games where... It feels like when they add one little system that could really buff it up. I will say this. The fact that Valheim came out so recently... I didn't actually play Valheim, but I'd probably be doing a lot more comparing to Valheim if I had played it. Um, I didn't play it because it was a big trend. And I just... I knew it wouldn't be what I wanted if I had, uh, caught onto the trend. So I could see people comparing it to that. Yeah, I would recommend this game. Give my cat a treat. Alright, so let's see. Um, I'm pretty happy with my people. You know, wh what are they doing over there? Come back in. Stop milling about over there. Why do we have all these corpses out here too? What happened? <laughs> I honestly don't know what happened. We've got just a field of bunnies. Oh, they're trying to build this thing. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right, so up here we wanted to reproduce some of that. Um, I don't know how, how much of a good idea it is to put a smelting furnace on the second floor of an entirely wooden structure, but you know, lightning also doesn't burn things in the rain. Um, oh, a sewing station. So nice. Hang on a second. Um, yeah, let's have one of these. Yeah, we. you like sewing, right? Uh, and then we'll have a brewing station right here. You, who am I kidding? You love sewing. Uh, all right, we'll put that there. This room isn't great by any means, but we, you know, I'm not perfect. All right, let's give this place some windows just because it's disgusting. Now, is natural light actually a thing in this game? Now, we've got these windows closed. For some reason, by default, windows are closed. Um, it's going to be kind of late in the year, so we'll do that. But let's do an experiment. We'll just open one of these. Actually, two. Let's open both. will kill me if it's not symmetrical. All right, let's just harvest a few more of these trees. We got a bunch of grown nearby our base. Still looking out for these young trees. Have any of these young trees uh, grown up? Now, it's it's a little bit barren, though. But I could see why you might want to expand out with the woods first. Maybe not build a wall quite as early as I did. Have I tried Stellaris? I feel like I'd like it. I actually haven't played Stellaris. But I, uh, I want to. I should. Wonder if you can attack other settlements. I think that would add a lot of depth to the game. Ooh, look. They're under there digging out the, uh, the new underground area. Let's see how these are doing. So this is 37.2 degrees inside. 
Stats Nutrition 30. Are these holding up? All right, they don't seem to be decaying. It's good. I guess it's cold enough. Um, also, the ground is wood now, too. So that's as opposed to this one. This one is decomposing because it's on the dirt nearby. Let's just expand this out to all of our wood floors. There we go. All right, uh, what is going on? Settlers are beginning. Nah, they're not annoyed. Nobody's left. I would like to see what somebody does when they leave, though. You know, they bat write a bad review for this on Yelp or something like that. <laughs> I'm sick of that place. <laughs> there we are. All right. Ooh, nice nature effects. I've heard that those subtly come in and out as you play. And I would not have even noticed the clouds if you guys hadn't said that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to add more. Just add a couple more of these ramparts. Or not ramparts, uh, battlements. That seems expensive, though. 90 wood. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. We're not going to take it. Yeah, it's fine. Who got wounded? Wait, was this still Diana? Are you still complaining about having your face burnt? All right, burnt face, so they do have more body parts. Ooh. <laughs> it's pretty minor. Oh, uh, so when she got hit by lightning, it burned her face. Probably because she got on that metal helmet. <laughs> I have no idea if that uh, if that is actually a thing. Is the clergy a faction or mechanic in this game? I don't know, but it seems like it would make a really interesting one. Like if you could have some kind of royal colonist like RimWorld. Oh, do our windows have glass in the frames? Good question. Let's check. Uh, nope, nobody is. Nobody's opened them. Hang on a second. Red wind. Stop praying. Open that window. Uh, they appear to be hollow to me. Unless it's just very, very clean glass. I'm going to instruct them to close it again only because I think that this is going to get way too, uh, way too cold. The other thing that you could do is, um, you have different settings for doors, so you could say they're, like, locked, default, or keep open. Which I think default is closed, but for some reason they're open. I don't really know how that works, but I think we're going to have to figure it out by the time that we hit winter. I'm wondering how threatening the seasons are, though. Like, is it just, like, winter, they get slightly cold... I'm definitely, the next time I play this, I'm going to want to play it on a survival difficulty. Um, because I like games difficult. Yeah, making a monster. I think uh, it, w it would be neat to approach this game with, like, different um, architectural ideas in mind. Like, I'm just kind of going for a very traditional castle town. Um, I'm surprised by how little, f little space you need for food. Um, for example, like in RimWorld... You can get, like, this many colonists would demand much larger fields. So I was kind of going off of that because so much else is like it. But I'm, I'm pleased to see that I don't need to spend quite that much space on ag uh, agriculture. Hmm. I guess with the point of, like, a UI that is easy to navigate, I like the fact that the resources themselves are, are like, almost humorously large. Like, look at how big a person is. This piece of linen is much larger than a person. And I do think that that makes it easier to identify a lot of that stuff. Um, so that's another good good thing that it's got going for it. Hey, Steven. Hey, thank you very much for the sub, my friend. I appreciate it. Hey, Booniel. Welcome in. Thanks very much. Happy you came out to the stream. Troopin', this is definitely your kind of game. Though I don't know if there's enough automation in it. Hmm. Hmm, here we go. Actually, I've been going back over our Factorio footage recently. I like, I wish I had gotten to the end, but if it goes well, I'd like to continue it. It just takes me a long time to produce anything like with multiplayer. And I always feel bad whenever I make a big video and then it doesn't like, like if I spend tons of time editing it. But I think that this one will do good. We'll do well. All right, I've got more research available. Let's see what we've got going. Cooking, let's get it because we don't have it and it seems pretty basic like we would need it. We've got clay bricks, but we've also, uh, we need some of that stuff too. 50 limestone, it says that we've got that. 
five iron ingots. Clearly, we've got to get this smelting going. Let's go zoom in on this. Do we have this built yet? Just find out. Okay, great. So we've got that. And let's set up some new bills. I still think that we could use a lot more colonists because I just don't think that they're getting much done. Look at all the hay we have. Um, let's get winter clothes. Do until we have... I don't know, like, how many colonists do we have? We have six, so we'll probably want to have six extra. Um, we could go in and micromanage this, but I think I'm just going to keep it pretty basic for right now. Dismantle items for cloth. Wide sh straw hats. I'd like to see them running around in straw hats. Um, iron... Oh, that's what those were. I was wondering what those iron nuggets were. Wait a minute. I have iron nuggets. I do have iron nuggets. That sounds dirty, but, um... Yeah, it is. Uh, wait a minute, where were these iron nuggets? I swear to God, we saw some iron nuggets before, didn't we? Hang on a second. Uh, until we have... Let's just do that and that. We have ten. Okay, uh, let's go find those iron nuggets. Iron nuggets? Where are they? I swear to... Wait, oh, there they are. Ah, this is where I saw them. Okay, they were being not allowed in the rest of the world. Uh, what do we press for that? Insert. This is F in RimWorld for forbidden. I do like F, but I can live with that. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I thought those... See, the trees are red, too, which is kind of throwing me off. All right, well, we found enough above ground exposed. I'm sure I could do some more mining to get them or something like that. I think we did have clay come out of the side of a mountain. And it does look as if there's different types of stone here. Um, what is this? This is iron 100%. Sounds like something that's not iron that's trying to... Yeah, 100%. This is totally iron. Um, all right, we do have iron here. And I think that was what that was uh, red back there, too. Oh, you know, this one's salt. Salt is, like, slightly more pinkish. This one is iron here, too, right by our base. See? Okay, this is kind of Minecrafty. I like that. All right. Let's, uh, let's let them get that done, and then once they get that... We could get a limestone hearth. And then this is where our cooking will probably improve. Though I haven't really noticed it's taken a long time to do cooking or anything like that, so no real complaints there. Cool. Uh, let's do this sideways. Uh, should we? Yeah, whatever. I'll do it like that. I should have made that bigger. Oh, well, I had no way of knowing. Um, we also wanted a smokehouse, too, right? You know, maybe I won't have another part of... Maybe we won't be able to use that door. A couple of these built. I, I think overall I should have made a lot of my buildings larger. But that works. That's pretty nice. Have I tried out Ragnorium yet? No, but I want to. Yeah, I want to. It looks good. That is more like a sci-fi uh, sci spin on that, right? Ordric just likes people a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, we haven't really heard much from Ordric since we started. How is he doing, anyway? He is still hungry. Okay. Um, desperately thirsty. I think what we really need now is just more colonists. Yeah, this game could use a lot more events because clearly six colonists in this aren't really proportionally doing as much as they would in RimWorld. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Progeny attack. They wanted slaves. They demanded blood. Indiscriminate rager, <laughs> raiders. Intent on a pillage. Plunder charges. Okay, so there's no... The Florida people uh, take up arms making ready for battle. Okay, we've got six people, but they're all marauders. Slobs. So we're going to... Uh, Oh, they don't even have bows. Look at them itching their backs. Oh, wait, no, they're, like, demanding tribute or something, whatever, as bandits do. Hey, look, we actually get a decent look at the uh, Z levels in the game from here. One, two, three. Looks like about four Z levels. But I can't tell. Does that go down further? Can we go really deep into the earth? Look at this, too. You get position 189, 233. Wow. Uh, hang on a second. Whoa, there's like a whole grid system in here. I think that we're getting about three or four Z levels underneath, based on what I'm seeing on all this. Yeah. 
Look, so you could. I, I'm surprised I didn't zoom out on the map like that yet. But all right. Um. Okay, we're being attacked. Two arms. Oh, I can't do it like that. Oh well. All right. Everyone is drafted. Uh. Uh, why are we not? There we go. Okay, everybody uh, get on the wall, except some of you don't. Now, <sighs> couldn't tell them to hold ground. So I'm just sort of like, everybody get up on the wall. I don't really know what else to do. That, that would be a most useful added feature if they just kind of did that. But let's kind of send them down equidistant from where the enemy is going to be attacking from. Um, and Dwight, you stand on this wall. Actually, where are they coming from? Okay, they're all coming from this side, so then let's just get you both set up on this side of the wall. Um, the rest of you... Are we missing someone? Oh, Jesus Christ. Ordric is at... What an or typical Ordric thing to do. Um, yeah, he might die. Alright, well, our archers will probably hold them off. Diana and Dwight. Now, can you both occupy the same space? I don't really see if they're on a typical grid. They appear to be moving, like, slightly free of the grid, you know what I mean? Alright, we've got Tynan here. See, Sylvester? <laughs> See what I did there? Okay, Ordric, you... Perfect timing, Ordric. Oh, this is kind of funny. They go right in for the defenses. They don't really go for us, per se, because Ordric just ran right by there. Um, alright. I guess mainly we just want to kind of defend the archers. But now I'm going to show you something else that appears, that is apparent to me in the game. Now, if I put out sword and shield people in the front, don't they stand in the front? You axe go over there. But I think there's also pole armor reach, if I'm not mistaken. Like, see that? Some of them need to get right up next to them, but some of them don't. Okay, I take it back about stick traps. They aren't quite as strong as I thought they were. All right, that's fine, yeah. All right, victory! A victory for Florida and the Florida men. Yeah. And he hit them with a pointy end of the stick. Ah, uh, goddamn. Who said Terrence McKenna? <laughs> Terrence McKenna is... Goddamn, Terrence McKenna is an influence. Dwight Currington was the bravest of the set of the Florida people, dealing the most blows to the foe. Uh, Lucas Fletcher took the most damage from the enemy, thinking only of defending Florida in his hour of... <laughs> I, I wonder what their path thing bring is sending them to. Ooh, this guy is named Beowulf. Like Beowulf? I mean, obviously, I guess. Um, yeah. Neat. Okay, you two go back and do your jobs. Um, we do need people to maintain the homestead. You two shoot him. Okay, good. Beowulf will fall. Or <laughs> go in, Ordric. Go in, Ordric. Miss! Sometimes they, they just like stand there too. There's a little, some stuff seems kind of wonky like that about combat. But, oh god, he's gonna get away. Oh no, Ordric, take it. Oh god. Alright, I didn't really pursue that guy because I don't seem to be getting as much out of these. I mean, we could just wait for foes to come in. I'm a little surprised by how weak some of our foes are. Um. Are there siege machines? I'm trying to think if I've seen them in the... That just kind of occurred to me, because I'm thinking in RimWorld you get, like, raids and stuff like that with, you know, a siege, or people will drop in on your base. I, don't, I wasn't looking through the, um... The game's, uh, trailers for stuff like that, but maybe I'm... Maybe it is there. I just feel like that the game is scaled up in difficulty so slowly for me. I would really like to fight, like, a scaled, pitched battle here, though. I... I mean, I, I feel like it's an enjoyable game engine to do that on, or whatever it is, game. Yeah, we'll call it engine. I know it's not the right term, but whatever. All right, how are our foods doing? Oh, wait, I just saw, did I see something? Like no, all right. No, 25 beat pile. Maybe I confused the beat pile with that. Why is that just kind of staying there in the middle of the screen? All right, whatever. Uh, construction skill has risen up. Now, I'm going to also say this. Um, let's take a look at the construction skill as it rises up. It seems like your colonists have a long way to go, so I can only assume that there's a long way for us to improve and that there is a much higher skill cap in this game. Um, what are we at? 16 in botany? 
And I think that it goes all the way up to... It goes really... It looked like it went high. I think it goes... Yeah, see, like, this one's at 23. I think it goes way over 20. I'm not sure what the exact skill cap is, but it's up there. I haven't noticed their skills decay. I don't know if that's like RimWorld or not. Um, can enemies destroy walls? So far, I haven't seen them attack any walls. Um, I think it'd be neat if they went in for your walls. Um, because it could, again, seem a little bit one-dimensional if they just go straight for your main traps and your gate all the time. Um, but again, I don't really know how early this is in early access. Why do they get naked when they die? Don't you? I mean, if you were killed, wouldn't you take off all your clothes just to surrender everything to your enemies? So that they you wouldn't leave any mysteries? <laughs> nah, I think it's just like a design choice. Uh, yeah, actually, that's uh, that's also in RimWorld where they unequip everything upon death. There are certain mods that take that off, though. Just launch some fighters on a catapult right into the base. <laughs> I gotta say, though, that, I mean, in terms of what I think that this game is doing, like, on its own as a three-dimensional game, I think it's doing three dimensions really, really well. I don't think that there's anything... I'm surprised at how well it did it because I was thinking to myself, like, what would a 3D RimWorld look like? And it, it's this.